Welcome back to the Halftime Show. I'm Jeannie, joined with Fox and Iconic. Thank you, Iconic. I don't have a game, like, literally in a bit, so we really do appreciate it uh, for putting us through here. We're going to be playing tic-tac-toe while you guys are asking questions in the chat. So, Fox, you can go first. I know you were coached by our producer, Mikkel, um, behind the scenes. So if you lose this, it's going to be a disappointment. I think I'm going to try hard for the first game and then see, like, okay. where where Dave goes on... Uh... Can you guys like talk and play at the same time? Oh, we can talk oh and play is at he the gonna same like? Time. Okay. I well. feel like at this point, no one's actually gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> What's more difficult? Yeah, I mean, a game I think, of I think it's a, a little, game of tic tac toe. I think it's a little. No winners. No it's winners just, here. Just a stalemate. Yeah. Stalemate. That happens. He's got you figured out. It's all Impressive. good. I thought I had the method. How are you feeling about the upcoming game, Iconic? You're yeah. taking it just game by game? Yeah, you know, got to get a 2-0, so I just got to go out there and get the job done. All right. Not you sound confident. That. That's good. Does it stress you out that it has to be a 2-0? No mistakes? I mean... Probably not. It's all, it's all in good. It's all in good, you know? It just doesn't really matter to me. You got the shades on, though. <laughs> Are you tired or something? No. Nah, I just <laughs> always have the shades on. Night, day. It could be sunny out. It could be rainy out. It could be dark out shades are on always handy yeah respect that i mean you could, can he start this time yeah, though? yeah that's what i like, thought yeah, yeah. Uh, start yeah uh so oh, first question right. is actually for iconic and it's from uh how do you keep a pma during rough times in a land so a positive mental attitude i mean it's all about i guess just staying in the moment and you know just taking like the losses as lessons and just knowing that like you have opportunity in the next game to always do better and it's always not the end of the world either you know you know it's just one event this year so gonna learn from it and be back yeah. anything is possible exactly is that yeah. how you feel about it as well yeah i mean i've seen games where you're up six one six oh and people come back and oh yeah i've seen that with w7m liquid <laughs> <laughs> You've, you, i've seen some crazy things happen all you got to do is just believe all right. Do you believe in yourself? Let's <laughs> close this one out, though. You're, like you're realistically, throwing me, you're throwing me off with these ones. <laughs> <laughs> you're throwing me that off with these a... ones. All right. No, this is gonna be exactly the same thing. No winners. You're actually throwing the game. Are you match fixing? Oh how my much, god! How no, much did I didn't they pay see. you? How much I didn't did they pay see. you? Nah. Oh shit! Oh shoot! <laughs> I can't see that. Well, you got one win on the board. Is there any question that you want Fox to answer? Just because you won, you could just like throw him under the bus and ask him something. You don't have to. He's probably not thinking about me like in the moment, you know? He's probably... Nah, he thinks about you. <laughs> You're my hero. That's it. Thank All you. Right. That's very nice. Very nice guy. Okay. All right. Uh, in terms of like being an IGL, the question here is what's the most important part about being one? Uh, I guess just... I like guess the calmness and the preparation, you know, you, you're, not, you're not always calm in the times, but you kind of have to display that calmness to the teammates. So it's just mainly about kind of putting others before you and then just kind of always staying minded on the next round and not getting caught in the past. Is that like a shared philosophy between IGLs or is it more like a, every IGL approaches it in a different way? I think everybody's a little different. Yeah. I, I agree with that, though. I think you have to be confident, even if you don't believe, even if you're worried, if your IGL loses his calm, then uh, how is everyone else supposed to be confident in, in the calls? Okay, that's fair. In terms start? of you start. like... You start, you got it. Oh, what a gentleman. In terms of MATN being put in Group C, what were your expectations initially coming into the tournament? You know, to win, but you know, you always want to get what you want. So we played yeah. some good matches, some tough matches, some tight matches. Little things led to the losses, but we're ready here to we learn from them, ready to go. Fox, in terms of like your position when you used to be a player, like back in the day. <laughs> it wasn't that far back. It wasn't that, it wasn't that far back. I know, that, that was I know. In terms of like when you used great. to be a player and like in terms of your back against the wall with your team, how would you have approached it? I believe that teams play better when their back's against the wall because it's you have nothing to lose for. You have nothing to be stressed over. If you lose, you make a mistake. That's it. It's over. And I'm okay. sure nobody wants to feel that flight home, you know, after they fly all the way here to play, Hold especially it. in front of a crowd yeah. and to just lose it. Nobody wants to feel that. So when everything's on the line, I mean, you tend to play better. How was your flight actually iconic down here? Did it, was it a good flight? Was it a long flight? It was rather, I mean, long. It was long, but it was rather uncomfortable, but I just, I just kind of survived. All right. You know, I made it through. Have you done anything fun so far in Sao Paulo? <laughs> you had a chance to explore? Yeah. Like, I mean, we've been, we were like 20 minutes 
away from here, like up like in like kind of like the hills, but it was cool. You know, we had dinner a few places, went to the malls. We didn't go sightseeing too much, but it was yeah. nice, oh. nice city. Enjoying the weather, I, I assume as well. Yeah. Um. So, and to, I just want to look at this from the whole holistic view of the competition. Right now, G2 particularly are looking really strong. Coming into this, who do you think, or with the performances you've seen so far, actually, oh. who do you think are the most like top four teams? I have mm. no idea. Like, I feel like it's all about matchups, you know? Like, I feel like groups is like, I mean, it just, it just depends who they play in playoffs the winner's bracket line, the loser bracket line, and just who plays who. So I feel like anyone could beat anybody on a given day because the okay. siege right now being played is so tight. It comes down to like the minuscule mistakes that you make. So I feel like it just depends on the teams and their weaknesses and their strengths. So. Would you agree with that? I'd agree with that. Nobody saw on the stream, but I got him full box 200 right now. Yeah, oh, uh. oh. He was not paying attention because he was answering questions, man. That's not fair. Yeah. Feels bad, know. man. Uh, we kinda, Why are you going two turns at the same time? We kind of. Well, I, I mean, I, won. I, I won either way. How does it, does it check? That was a, How does that it was feel a one to one. finally win something? Okay. <laughs> Doesn't feel too good when you put it in that context. <laughs> okay, fine. How does it feel to win something? Uh, well, we. I mean, it's it's still one one. So I mean, uh, we get you a haven't tie. won yet. Do you guys nice want to go again? Up. We can. Do you guys want to like speed run it? We can speed run it. Like. You go first. Bam, bam, just bang it out. Why oh, he's actually letting you go first? You know, it would be really lovely to have a caster right now to like narrate over this, and, like give us a breakdown. Oh. Oh. Never mind. And we're tied. Uh, I feel like we, we yeah. go back and forth all day. Yeah, this is, is going to take a while. Anything so far like ahead of the game iconic that you want to say, whether it's to us or whether it's to the fans watching at home, I think this is a very rare opportunity where we have a player ahead before the game. So we already got your opinion on it, but anything you want to say to those at home? I mean. Just, just cheer for us, you know? We're going to come in here with our hearts out, and we're going to 2-0, so simple as okay. that. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for that, <laughs> indeed. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. We're going to be coming back, actually, with the uh, matchup, which is your game. So uh, make sure that you guys tune in for that. We'll be heading off to a break, and we'll be back shortly.
Well, we are into the second half of day five, the last day of group stages. Look how beautiful this city is. I tell you what, it has been picturesque ever since we got here, and so have the games. But two more people that are joining me on the desk that I would say are quite picturesque themselves. Look at them. Ollie, Jesse, how are we? Oh, picturesque desk <laughs> altogether, the three of us, I'd say, Manic. <sighs> Sometimes. Very Sometimes. kind. Very kind indeed, I think. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah, right? that, host, right? That's good. That's a good intro. I like that. So, uh, have either of you been able to watch the games this morning, or am I going to throw you under the bus completely? No, we watched a couple of the games in the room, didn't we? We, saw, we did. Um, we saw the G2 one. I think that's... Yeah, it was, a bit, it was a bit of a rough one. I can't lie. It was rough not... one for you. Good one for me, maybe. Yeah, yeah I think that's fair. <laughs> a little bit of heartbreak. And I think the Bliss game might still be going on, so I'm, I'm real... Obviously, that's the game I care about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, and Dark Zero, all you want. But uh, yeah, I'll take that Bliss game any day of the week. But the game that we're here to focus on, the most important game, actually, M80 taking on Team Liquid. This, and I cannot, th there is no way I can understate this. This is an elimination match in the group stages. Absolutely. <laughs> M80 have been really, really struggling so far through these groups. They haven't really been getting off to a great start. That means that they are currently sitting in last place, but they have the opportunity to jump over Liquid today. Their only issue is they need a clean 2-0 to get that jump ahead and force Liquid to be eliminated from this tournament. That's not something they've been able to do so far. They haven't picked up a 2-0 win. Liquid, they're coming into this with pressure, but it's far less pressure. They only need one map, and that really is the crux of it today. Look, Team Liquid at the moment, they have looked a little bit shaky in groups. We can all say that. There's no, I don't think we need to hide this conversation. It hasn't been the greatest time for them, Jesse. It certainly hasn't. I mean, the key thing has been their attacks. They are the third worst attacking team when it comes to the sixth invitational. Um, when it comes to converting on attack, I should, uh, I should be clear. They really haven't been great at taking those opening picks and converting them to wins. They've really been struggling in that aspect. And I think when you take a look at Liquid, I mean, really their defenses are solid. They're doing a pretty uh, good job on that. And that's been the whole tournament. But in particular, when it comes to that offensive half, sometimes their executes are really good. But when it comes to the early game, when it comes to roam clearing, I've seen a lot of problems. Is it good enough to say that you've got good defenses in a defense-sided <laughs> match? <laughs> Probably not. We are in the most defensive-sided SI we've ever seen. Yeah. That's that's what you should do. That is just the expected outcome at this point. It's those attacks, as you've mentioned, trying to single out players. They've almost regressed into that old liquid of when they used to have Sexy Cake on the roster. And that's not necessarily a good thing because they were trying to get away from those executes. They were trying to get away mm. from that plant focus siege. They were trying to play more split. They were trying to get themselves in, clear those roamers, deal with the problems. I want to highlight Lagonis because I think he's been maybe their best player on attack and you wouldn't notice it statistically. But when you take a look at the pushes that they're going, for the executes, they've been pretty good. When they can get around a bomb site, whether that's late into the round or early, going for a bit of a rush sometimes, Lagonis is very good at finding the right opportunity, droning out the site, beelining it for the plants, and getting it down. He's got a ton of plants so far at this event. But it's, again, that early round where we're seeing those issues. They're really not finding a good opportunity to get those opening picks and set themselves up for those executes. Yeah. So while they are good when we see them, they're far too rare right now. Look, if we're saying that Team Liquid has been struggling throughout groups, stages as a team who unfortunately are copying it even worse than them. M80 are yet to find a win at all. They've got one point. And who did that one point come from? Bleed, who everyone kind of were umming and ahhing as the weakest in the group. But this is where we're at now. They are facing straight up stone cold elimination. That one point could be huge though. That could. one point could be all that they need. However, is that going to happen against Liquid? Are they going to get the clean 2-0 win that they need today? It looks like a very tall order for the siege that we've seen. There was a very emotionally charged game against Bleed yesterday. It went right down to the wire. And I think Bleed probably won a lot of fans during that best of three. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, we've seen some positives and negatives out of uh, out of M80, of course. I think that we have seen some key players popping off. Spoit's been all right throughout this tournament. He's been positive overall. Gomez as well, I think. Those have been the two players who have looked the strongest and the most consistent consistent throughout their games. The problem for me comes on their entry. 44% opening pick overall for M80 is just not where you need to be in a tournament as competitive as this when you're trying to become the best in the world. And Gomez, although he's got a, a strong overall rating, a strong overall KD, his entry has 
really been lacking. 4-14 Four and 14 when it comes to the opening picks. That is nowhere near good enough for a, a top team like M80, who should be competing for playoffs, competing to go deep. Instead, they're trying to stay alive. Well, we've talked about the head-to-head -head of the teams. Let's have a look at two individual players, Ollie. I know you wanted to talk about Sport and Volps. How do you feel like both of them have been matching up this uh, tournament? Well, I mean, it, to sort of piggyback off the back of your point, Jesse, opening picks has really been something that we wanted to try and focus on. So we've got a graphic that we're going to bring up uh, that just helps to uh, illustrate that a little bit more. You can see there, we're putting Volps against Spoit. Is it the, the direct comparison that you would usually expect? Potentially not. But just look at the difference in the opening. Volps currently has got a 20 to 15 opening. Spoit, on the other hand, he's sitting there in those negatives. If mm. there's one player that you want to activate, if there's one player you want to give resources, to and say, go and do your job, it's got to be spoiled. Much more consistent, much more uh, well-rounded, I think, in terms of both attack and defense. Again, there have been some issues for both teams on the offense, but I think when you're looking at those entries, you are favoring Team Liquid a little bit more, so that'll be a battle to watch for sure. Well, if the attacks have been struggling, then it'll be interesting to have a look at the veto. Speaking of which, let's dive into the maps now. Bank, Oregon, Cafe, and Border all banned out to kickstart this. Yeah, so important to note in this best of three, Liquid really just need to win one game to stave off elimination. So they're really just hunting for one map that they can lock down, and their best bet is going to be Clubhouse. They played it twice so far at the Sixth Invitational, a win over Virtus Pro 7-4, and a loss to W7M 7-3. So not a flawless map for them, not a map that they are expected to completely crush on, but it's what they're going for. And then return M80 will go for the Skyscraper. Kind of an even map for them. Two plays in Stage 2, an 8-6 loss to Wildcard, followed by an 8-6 win over the NAL. They've yet to play it here at SI. So that'll be a map that they're maybe trying to pull up for the first time, surprise Team Liquid with, and get a big win on. It's a classic best of three. You just need to win your map. You don't even need to win the decider. <laughs> it really goes <laughs> even a little bit more simple right. than that. Liquid just needs to win one map. Is. They just need to take the clubhouse. The Skyscraper is a very middle preference pick for them. So it really could go either way if it gets there and it puts even more pressure <laughs> onto M80 for that first map pick. And I will say quickly as well for Team Liquid, if they do 2-0 this, they do lock in the upper bracket versus lower bracket. So yep. there are still a lot of implications if they can get that second win. It's not like it's completely nullified for them, but the key thing, the most important thing, staying alive, they only need one for it. That's it. They're, they're currently sitting on five points. Four points would secure them to nine, yeah. which of course just edges out Bleed and Venice Pro, which will be playing later tonight. So this is a really fun game because no matter what happens here, there are implications for every single instance of point distribution. But it is time to talk about the absolute nitty gritty here. Can M80 do this 2-0? I'd love to see M80 do it 2-0. I love to see Exciting Siege. I don't really care who wins. If they can pull it out of the bag here and if they can show us that they deserve to be in that in that playoffs, they would then go through with their heads held high. They've done the job. It's not been a pretty group, but it's been a group. Yeah. And you know what? I think they got it. I, I seriously think that M80, after the day they had yesterday, they'll be back in their own headspace. They'll be ready to go. They know how important this is. There are weaknesses on Liquid they can exploit. Or <laughs> exploit? They exploit. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm giving it to them. A uh, bit of an upset, but I'm calling it. Well, it is time to get underway with our first map in this series, Clubhouse. It is huge for M80. They cannot allow Liquid to walk away with this map. We're going across to Fluke and Lynx. Thank you very much. And it is do or die. He's already done. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, Emmy. I'm already in bad spirits. I'm in bad You're spirits. You're already in bad spirits? It's, listen. We haven't even started. M80 have to win, what, 2-0? Liquid can't win a single map? Liquid can't, I'm not, North American. Of course I'm losing my mind. Not a single map. Should I make it worse for you? Why would you do that? <laughs> Let's be honest. Liquid are fan favorites in general of the whole tournament. Not to win it, maybe not to be to the live stage though, in front of a Brazilian home crowd. Nesk, Palu, playing in front of a home crowd. People want that, people, people want to see that. And M80 is sort of setting themselves up here to, if they do win this, they need it clean 2-0, as you said, as clean as it can go. And they'll know this pressure more than anything. Liquid though, they have the pressure of just taking one. Sometimes that becomes Bad. <laughs> that, you know, you might be onto something there. Sometimes. Break it down for me. That becomes bad. Can we get a, can we get that as on like a quote? Can we have like just like, like a, a gray photo of me? Can we have a, that photo of like Shaiko and Palu playing chess from like Young King? <laughs> and it's just in black and like sometimes things become bad. <laughs> I want it as a motivational poster. <laughs> but on we, a are, wall. we are getting into it again, as we just said. If Liquid win a single map, whether it be number one, number two, or number three, 
even if they lose this series in three maps, M80 could still very well go home. And right now they have M80 have to fight through Liquid's own pick to start the series. Well, they, if they need, to, <laughs> they can't win map three. That, that's not part of it. Because to get to map three, they have to have won one or two. Oh, you can't just. You guys, it's like you lose the game. You lose the series 2-0 and you're like, no, no, we're playing one more. That's not, what I, next, That's next not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Why are you interpreting what I said in extreme bad faith? Next goal wins. I'm on the floor. He's fallen. And I've fallen. My shoes are gone. Hopefully he's gone. The dogs are out. The dogs are out. The dogs are out. Took a beat, Removed Capitao, one of the highest pick operators this tournament, alongside Buck Fenrir. Goodbye. I've seen Liquid play some pretty good Fenrir resets with a bit of a yawn. You're hoping. Well, he's like, oh, Fenrir ban. I've seen it before. I've seen it before. Don't need it. Do not need it whatsoever. Plus, I mean, with the Capitao, because of the changes to frag grenades, he was already an operator routinely brought to clear at that CCTV position if maybe nades were an issue or the enemy wasn't running a Wamai. But now that the frag grenades aren't, you know, uh, good anymore to do that sort of thing, yeah. having the Capitao is the main option and the main substitute for, well, that same effect. Also not shocked by the Tuberal ban to end things out. This is one of his most played maps, and that's just from you know, watching 8 billion clubhouses at this point and seeing <laughs> played on half of them, or banned on the other ones. To Burrell, more like to buy row. Church is where we'll start, all the way down on the basement with the lead in in just a moment. But, you know, it's sort of that thing, that understatement of this whole game is that you wouldn't have truly expected these two teams to be in this situation on this day maybe maybe one of them but both of them being the two that are fighting to survive in the single shoot series well i agree with you on one hand but i do know on the other hand when i saw this group i felt two things of certainty i felt w7m would top it which to be fair is not completely certain now no no but, no. I, but I knew bleed weren't getting last because three other teams in this group have disappointed immeasurably this year in multiple areas m80 basically bombing out of every event. Liquid not even making Atlanta and VP even doing well in phase two, despite winning both EUL stages, not making it to main stage in either events. So I don't like that it's here, but unfortunately I was worried this might've been a possibility. And now we are in a position where one of the biggest prospects of North America is going against some of the biggest names in Siege history. And one can only remain. One can only remain and we will see, I guess how the first taste of it goes. Now, if you're new to this tournament, the Hot off the presses, beep, 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 beep. Newsline is, it is heavily swung into the favor of defenders throughout this current match, throughout the drive. The missing Tuberau, the missing Fenrir is gonna make things a little bit trickier, but Capital has been a big bolt and blow towards the approaches here. The hard breach at least won't be the biggest problem. And Club still, I think, has some of that. Traded the drone for the Moz utility. That's, uh, 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 that's a positive spin. I'll give it a positive spin. Another positive spin for Liquid's attacks is the presence of the Ying, often thought of as an execute operator. You can also use the, those candelas to great effect on clearing out roams on Clubhouse or any map for that matter. And Liquid have really struggled to convert a lot of their advantages from successful beginnings to equally successful endings. Even if, as I believe the desk talked about, sometimes the endings are well crafted. It is that middle phase, that transition from beginning to end that often does it. That often doesn't go Liquid's way. One player spotted, though. Ooh, uh, held the first fight to pick up the second. Gomez gone. The first blow, but a lot of time has been taken out of it, and that is the main role, sort of, of that. So, as you can see, Palu was trying to get some presence done towards the site before Gomez was removed. They sort of split the push there a little bit. Paid some attention towards that Roma. Got rid of them, whilst Palu was making sure that some of the immediate groundwork is done. Kaitlo on the moto hatch and onto the kitchen hatch will make things a little bit stickier, but both those problems can usually be overcome. However, the one down on moto is going to be very tricky with the utility that they are missing. Yep. EMPs, Maverick, both gone. That, that's the big concern for Liquid right now, is even though they have the 5e4 and got it relatively uncontested by M80, they have to open up these hatches. And even on the G2DZ game we just saw in Clubhouse, 
top teams can still struggle to open this hatch sometimes to balance and thread the needle between dealing with the impact trick, dealing with the electro claw. And as the X-Kairos fly out, we've still got the kitchen hatch solid and we've still got it electrified. Moto hatch also solid and electrified too. 30 seconds, Liquid, tick tock. Time to try and put the strike on and the blind goes out, but it's a pretty narrow run straight down the back of Dirt. They're able to take some of that territory. Sport gets Parlu for a piece, but it's gonna have to come blow for blow. And this is something that MAT can do. Trade it out with Sport getting the lock in. The first round is theirs, MAT. Get the lead in, they can take a bit of a breath. It's Holy shit. <laughs> so I made you excited. I didn't know we had the players mic'd up. I didn't either. No, we don't. They're just that goddamn loud. <laughs> it is, you it is are round, Parker's son. It is round one. <laughs> wow. That Whoa. was, I, that, like the entire roster was yelling at the same time. And to be fair, understandable. Because, of course, the pressure's on the line. Of course, everything matters. But that round, even though Liquid got the opening pick, it was such a layup. It was such a freebie for M80. Yep. No hatches acquired, no control in blue, no real control bottom main. I'd be reacting like this, too, if one of the best teams in Rainbow Six basically gave me a free 4v5. To be fair, that is your speaking volume. Did, come on. <laughs> were you were you cooking were you Five cooking that left. the entire segment? Like the entire I, time I was talking, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna throw this in right at the end. No, I mean this is just. Well, do, you know, I made a good point, but we'll take it away from him. We'll just yeah, yeah, take yeah, it away from him. Take it away from you. I'll cut you down to size. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, that makes it. First step's yours. As we've said, statistically, it is a defender sort of lent into side here, and the pressure is gonna be, you know, looking at that one, looking at that two attacks that they might be able to eke out. The first sides are pretty solid. Liquid has sometimes had good responses, but where Liquid have fallen short, and the reason that they are in the situation there is, is generally a bit of a dip of that that power, that energy, that ferociousness. You'll have Palu pop off and then be a little bit quiet the next map. Nesk will have a good map and then a little bit quiet. It's an unfortunate little wobble in the balance of getting that connection. A CC breach comes together. Uh, it's pretty easy enough to put together as Iconic is making sure that things are kept a little bit cool. Just around the bottom of blue actually goes for the dip and the run away. Who's better at that than a Solace? Indeed, and the Solace will likely be in that position for the majority of the round, while Liquid will have to focus on clearing out this garage position, unless they want to rotate for a construction push later on, but you have to do that pretty early once you open up the plat wall, so it seems, at least at the moment, they're contemplating a clear from garage, and Iconic has worked his way in oil pit as a result. He's looking to relay to Gomez how many people might be pushing his position. If they go on drones, he can use that and add it to the numbers that might be fighting this Azami all the way on top of rafters, <laughs> but with these Kibas, he's used, I believe, all of them at this point, yes, Indeed, the Monty's kind of blocked, but with Liquid getting the opening pick, a lot of damage, you will, you're more than happy with this trade. I mean, look at that, driven straight up. Yoga does get the end of Volps, though, but they've done the work that maybe the IQs needed to, and it's allowed Lagonas to start taking some of the control towards the site itself. Now, Liquid, they have dropped the ball a little bit on the plant attempt here. We talked about it before when we cast them yesterday, how they weren't quite confident enough to go for the plant. Well, that's something that they've been able to talk to each other about and see if they can try and drive themselves. It seems like it. Nesk wanted to start there with Lagonas being the sort a long watch here. It depends on the position he feels confident in because well, look at the power. There's Palu. There we go. Has the control. The Stolas is caught out. There's a trade from Yoga, and now they're going to go towards the default. Put some pressure. Somehow gets the Monty. Don't let him do it. He does it to you. A two versus one, but the player is down. So resets in a post plant against Yoga. No smokes in the pocket to cover the motion, and he'll wait for the call. It's the repel. He just has to bait this perfectly. Yoga has to put the pressure on, but you're looking towards the hook and seeing where the player is at. There's the cut. But unfortunately, as we said, he has Defender to go for this. He's got to take the fight. He's able to get it! No way! Unbelievable tear across the repel player! Ah. <laughs> uh, we are so bad. Palu, you might be afraid, bro. You gotta move, bro. Yeah, that's um. Wow, them's, them's fighting words. So, 
I was preparing. I was preparing Emmy. Yep. I was like, man, Liquid had everything there. They, they had did? they had Nesk in sight with the diffuser. Had two players around him on CCTV and Palu down below. And not only did Yaga not deny the plant from below because it had already kind of gotten out of hand at that point, <laughs> but Nesk succeeds the plant as well. They had everything, downstairs control, upstairs control, and Yaga hits the double retake, literally taking down the player from below, and even though he fails to deny the plant from that position, is able to rotate up and clutch the 1v2. That was a liquid round through and through, from setup to execution. And then sometimes a player just pops off, and there's nothing you can do about it. Five seconds left. Two rounds in a row. And it's two rounds to defend, obviously. That one felt a lot closer, really, than anything. It should be one apiece, especially as one of the players watching on the rafters was a Monty. Had the full control. They had the solace that was potentially going to cause some problems behind. They dropped the shield to maybe get the cover and go for the sort of pistol play against the player. But roughly, I think they had about 30 seconds still left inside the site. They could have structured something a bit different, but it's very easy for me to say that from the position that I am in. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds gone, they know where the Solace is, but they use their gadget, they should be able to find the drone and try and get a way out of there. So that's what Nesk is doing. There is only one way in, and they have that now. Watch how long will it take to get the shutdown on the player? That's the problem here, and Nesk wants to try and be the solution. Gonna go for the swing, the ping is there. There's the cap. Very, very well played from the roam clear. And well, Iconic will be on cams for the rest of the round. Yep. Always the risk, if you're able to rat inside a strip, you can potentially make a round-changing flank later in the round, usually especially because the attack will usually take bar control, try to get some vertical from below, so on and so forth. But in this particular case, if you're found early on and somebody just, you know, goes pool double window, you're way back, your egress is very, very much hampered. So now Liquid can just rotate up as if nothing really happened. They just have a 5e4. It can go about with the rest of their attack. There's going to be a heavy focus on Jacuzzi Wall. And Spoid now feels a little bit of pressure. Now that he doesn't have any support from below inside a bar, playing around that hatch is a little riskier. He's also out of Kiba barriers at this point. So Liquid have done a great job on the utility clear and creating angles as well. And now that they're getting intel inside of the site, sure, they might be running a little low on drones, but we have a little under half the round Oops. to go. And Yogg is hitting impacts on him. Himself. I mean, he's allowed a little bit of balance. It's the yin and the yang from the previous round. But here, we might have to smash and grab from the jacuzzi itself. They're going to work with the blinds right behind the canister. The catch is a little bit late on the my disc. They haven't moved immediately. That one is caught out. Good play and good shooting there from Yoga. Drawing some attention. He's going to swing in and get the take on to Volt. What are we doing? The Monty is just watching. Blinded and goes for the hit. He knows there's someone else behind it, Yoga. Somehow able to find either player either side. Palu goes down outside in the balcony. Finally, he is stopped. But really, he should not have been able to get, I mean, either of them. And he steals the kill. Spoit Gomez, but no longer Spoit. Gomez and Diaz either side of it. Lagonis, I mean, such a sliver of health. Anything in his foot is going to be the end. There's a C4 that could breathe on him. And it would be that ultimate decider. Less than 20 seconds. Lagonis trying to stick the plant. They have the pings. He pulls off. There's the C4 that gets the down onto the shield. It's a one versus one. No, it isn't. M80. Three in a row. All right. I'm going to do it. You can do it. I'm breaking glass because it's starting to become an emergency. Liquid weren't cooking that attack. They were not cooking. The streets were saying. The streets are saying that despite an opening 5v4, they decided to have all of their attackers on jacuzzi wall and Palu on metal balcony window. Now, those are all fine positions. Those are all positions you should be playing. Yes. But where's the lo where's the logi hack pressure? Where's somebody pushing up main stairs? Because I don't know if you were aware of this, Emmy. The main roamer down below died in the first 45 seconds of the round. And usually when that happens, sure, you can't nade from below, but you can maybe work up, pick up main stairs, go for the backstab while there's chaos over on the jacuzzi wall as the Montane's pushing in. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, there are other factors. Yaga's huge performance that round. Diaz with two kills to end that round. It was another great round of individual performances from M80. And the parts Liquid had were good, but it's another very, very linear execute and not taking advantage of both control they could have acquired with the time they had, or could have made use of for control they had anyway. 
Failure to launch, Liquid. At this point, two rounds should have been yours. We built the rocket, but we didn't fuel it up. We forgot to fuel it, and now you find yourself a little bit rained down on. However, as we've said many, many times, you know, MAD have a strong defense. Their attack is where things True. go a bit wobbly. So there's still half of this round to play for. There's still half of this. These are conversations where you can learn and you can develop and you can change things up. And also in that W7M game that went to OT both maps, both teams won, won five defenses. They so did. M80 have won five defenses before and still ended up losing the map in overtime. So just because M80 are having a very strong defensive half doesn't mean that this map will go their way. Though really their do most dominant performance was consulate yesterday where they were able to win on both attack and defense. But beyond that, they've been just like the rest of the tournament, able to get a whole bunch of rounds on defense, but still <laughs> Biffin Wait a second, end. is this a fan decided? No, I don't this think right so. here. No. Pat, I mean, uh, six Invitational 2024. Is this here defender decided? Ironically, you know how many defender rounds this can carry? Ironically, Consulate is not defender decided this tournament, so. Wait, really? Yeah, I know. It's been played, I mean, like, I mean, it's like, it's been played <laughs> twice. I think it's like 53 54. Yeah, I, don't, I, I think it's the date is just not normalized. That doesn't seem right. Reloading. Gomez. He's got a little bit of spoit for protection, but again, this is all wasting time. They can get a player out of it. Great. They're going to go for Yoga, though, and he's caught in a drone. He's still able to slip away, and what was a very, very good roam clear on that individual player on the previous round here has at least gone slower, unfortunately, this time round. They're about 30 seconds behind where they were before, and at this point, they've been able to get a kill. So M80, they've learned. They've pulled themselves back in. They have another body down, all five of them. They're going to hope that it turns into a brawl and a fight here on the site itself. The Hey, Claws and the C4 is, is ready to rock and roll against the Hatches. In fact, there's three ready to try and play against these, hoping they can catch some Liquid players a bit by surprise. That's exactly the thing they need just to make that Liquid attack in round one that was already, already very confined over towards the Kitchen Hatch and make it even worse. Throw up C4s, try to get a pick or two before Liquid even execute onto the site, because again, we're in a position where What's the status of Moto Hatch? What's the status of Kitchen Hatch? Are we still just opening it with 45 or 30 seconds left? Clubhouse Basement is a difficult attack, and if you're limiting your options further, we're in bad shape, fellas. I mean, it looks like it's just gonna be a drive down blue at this point. Everything is still locked. Both Moto and Kitchen is locked. They haven't put any pressure onto dirt as well. It's just blinds and a take and a sort of raw control down main on this side, but Iconic gets resets. Palu's gonna see if he can step in and gets one, but Nesk also getting a pinch. Iconic does stop Palu. So now it's Lagonis on the swing on Church Door, and they've got some of the control of blue, but Spoit is the back line, and there's only a pocket full of seconds to get the plant itself. A three versus two becomes a bit scratchy, but a three versus one. They have Church control. They can go for it. The first is the Ices, but no more. Liquid get around. Well, Glad we got a Nesk 3K to open up that entire round because we were basically in the same spot as round one. Church hatch not really a factor, or sorry, uh, kitchen hatch not really a factor, moto hatch not really a factor, just flooding in down main stairs, down blue, but Nesk gets two kills on the entry and then the third kill to wrap up the round as DS Lucas was stuck in a 1v3. I think it was a perfectly fine setup from M80. Again, it's another very slow liquid attack with very limited control and they're forced to basically just go about a normal basement attack, but without any of the hatches to play off of, without any work done actually on the bomb site, just doing your best to inform the peaks you're gonna take, but in the end, still dry peaking a lot of those engagements. Liquid have incredibly talented players, so I mean, this is just an average Nesk performance sometimes if he's having a good day. And you gotta give credit where credit's due. Sure, I mean, it might not have been the best, but he hit a shot. It's that sort of idea and understanding of this Liquid roster though, is the individual talent on some of these players has been world renowned for the entire world of this game. Since the sort of dawn of Rainbow Six Siege, Milos would quote however many things are in my day. That's not how many Milos sounds, but you, but, you will, get the idea. but you will get the idea. He has a great big bushy beard and a greater big bushy tail about the history of this game. And they have been players <laughs> that have tailed with their LE, not I, uh, he doesn't have a tail. Oh. I don't think Milos is a fairy. He might he be. He's got a great big bushy tail. I was like, <laughs> like a squirrel. And he squirrels away. Stories about the greatness of these players to bring out at the appropriate times, including Nesk, including Parley. <laughs> yes. This is the sort of problem that we've had with this roster. Is it doesn't quite have the connection of we need Palo to send it, we need Nest to send it with a consistency that you'll see on other teams. And 
finding that in this meta has seemed to be a bit trickier for them. Ironically, though, we are back on the bomb site that had the best liquid attack so far, and not one that was the best by a slim margin. They actually got all the control they needed. They cleared Garage really quickly, got control of Lounge extremely fast, and took down Iconic as well, or at least deleted him from being able to play that position in general. So they had control down below to stop the Solus from denying the plant. They had Nesk in the bomb site with the Diffuser, and M80 only won this round because of a massive individual clutch from Yaga, who almost died that guy, repelled on the balcony but hit a crazy spray transfer. So if Liquid just replicate that on top of the individual success from Nesk last round, we should honestly be in a good shape for them to threaten a 3-3 half. Now, the shield breezes right up towards, well, Gomez is doing their best to survive and no survival. The grenade got the down there and you're pulling a face like, what happened? I get it's Monty, but like... Move, bro. Move. <laughs> Iconic is on the move all the way deep down in blue and it's the perfect operator as i said i love this sort of roam play that you can do the push to blind anyone that might be trying to stop the go unless they put the pressure onto it remember this was a round where they had everything in their pockets and then unfortunately it tumbled like a house of cards checkmate resets might be the one to find the fight here swinging around onto the bottom of pit it's sport He's actually come to offer some sort of counterplay in this position that was played and removed by parlo they don't know Ooh, now they might know. There's the plant going down. Volks is able to get Yoga. Oh. Resets gets the cover. Great take, great cover here. Spoit, fortunately too late to the second store party. And now, well, with a shield, a Monty that has become a door frame, blocking the quick change between the two sites. This is almost even more impossible. There's at least a trade onto the repelling Nesk, but Diaz. <laughs> nice shot. I mean, you know, if we're commending body shots, shout out. Well, I think they said something to Nesk before. I think this is going to be a heated all chat. <laughs> I hope so. This is going to be an all chat. I'm here for the, the content. The refs are going to be paying a lot of attention to. <laughs> but to Liquid's credit, sure, the other sites might not be very, very... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak Portuguese, my friend. I don't either. You Just attempt. enough to order food. Just enough. You're a Portuguese speaker of the talent. Which... Doesn't Which mean is I like a real low bar. Yeah. So we will go out to um, eateries, Give me another year. eateries and, and restaurants and all the pressure's put on you. You do your best. I try. Things go wrong. I mean, some things go right. Yeah, some things go right. <laughs> Most things go wrong. And then Parker gets mad at you. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Hey, you messed up his, his chicken nugget. Anyway, okay, first of all, I got everything right today. Yeah, second then, off. You have to go back to Second twice. off. Let me talk about this execute I like, okay? Because I okay. want to give Liquid some credit. I want to okay. give them some I'll credit. Stop being mean. Because they lost the first CC attack to something that out of their control, and then the second yeah. time they reclaimed it, and now we got to see even more of an execute I quite like because their strategy is just, all right, Capitao's banned. We don't need to clear him. Want to know why? We just bring the Monty. We force him to walk up garage stairs, and Palu is sitting outside the CC window, just tossing a Candela in in time with Lagonis' movements. So basically, the only player he has to worry about, or the only positions he has to worry about, theoretically speaking, are is the player on rafters and somebody playing stock. And they had resets in that position to watch it. So if those Candelas are timed properly, nobody can actually support Gomez playing that position because they'd be blinded if they look up. So Lagonas can walk up, push a little further. Another Candela goes out, pushes a little further. They time it with a grenade to box him in. That was a really well thought out strategy by Liquid and I'm happy to see it pay off. I'm just, I want to give credit where credit's due. M80. Now, as I said it at the 3-0 point, obviously, there's still half a game to play for, and their worried half is the second half of this game. Liquid, if they can get themselves even from any game, is good. From where they were at 0-3 down without a timeout, it's pretty brilliant, let's be honest. They've really been able to get things going. It was failure to launch, but suddenly, oh, look at that. It's up in the sky. Beautiful. <laughs> ah, wonderful. A minute 50 as the break comes against the hatches. They've gone back towards paying them some attention, noting that, well, obviously there's no Kaid this time. They're sort of baiting them, potentially, M80, to say, okay, look, they won this sort of showdown gun down. Let's force them into looking at tactics again, and then maybe we can shake the tree and see if we can stop it. Yeah, no Kaid, uh, Diaz Lucas and Gomez. I don't believe either really in a position to impact trick that hatch either, so... Kitchen hatch? Actually success, but... 
They're not really playing retake, but they're almost allowing Liquid to take control of those hatches, as you said, and they have different operators and positions to deal with it. One example, Sploit, we just saw, has an angle on the blue hatch, and we didn't see below, but I have to imagine he's playing behind a mirror window, the classic one looking in the blue hall. You also have DS Lucas behind those Kiba barriers on AKs, who can watch the kitchen hatch drop and get an angle on somebody before they can fall. Oh, Sploit almost finding someone. The head of a Liquid player peeks out above the blue hatch, but no kill goes their way. The setup from M80 is still very solid, though, but it does allow Liquid to start gaining a foothold into the site, and then the players holding these positions, Spoit, Diaz, Lucas, and so on, need to hit their <laughs> shots and be on the lookout for Derm, I, mean, I guess. It is a party, right? Everybody's been invited towards the AK, and Lagunas has said, no, nope, I want to take your rotate instead. Spoit gets the first. They're putting pressure towards the plant, and Volps! He gets the bit of the activation here, but does one and pretty much a half towards the single player. However, the plant is prevented. Now there's only 20 seconds. Plan B to the default, which is a plan A, which Gomez goes fishing for and catches himself a kit. So now resets, resets the attempt and goes for the double down on the default with Palu getting caught by Gomez. Gomez gets his third for the round. And with five seconds and Volp stuck in dirt and the party is over, baby. 4 to 2 and this is sort of sad they said hey here's a default take have a go have a go uh, oh no we we forgot to electrify the hatch <laughs> it was a trick it was a trick it you was all been, a ruse you've been deceived and indeed deceived they were i like the setup from m80 of course that there's an element of risk if you lose some of those fights on the drop down then we have some issues but they put themselves in the best positions possible. Um, bing, 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 bing. Jesse J Chick is on the line. My boy, My Jesse! Boy, Jesse. <laughs> if he's talking, I can't. <laughs> this is him talking. I can't, I can't, before. I can't hear. You guys can't hear me, I'm being told. There we well, go, there I can, we go, there we go. I can hear Hello. you now, let's go. We are so bad. <laughs> Who are your Carter. top points for? <gasps> I'm here to deliver you some fun facts because we've had both of these teams play Clubhouse already through this tournament. And as M80 move on to the attacker's side, they've had some problems with attack on this map. In fact, through seven attempted attacking rounds, the only bomb site they have won on Clubhouse thus far was CCTV Cash. And it just so happens that after defending CCTV Cash three times through two separate contests, we've seen Team Liquid defended 100% of the time successfully. So watch out for the bomb sites that are both CCV Cash because that's one that Liquid have been very, very good on, but also the other bomb sites because M80 haven't been able to successfully attack any of them even once so far through the tournament so far. So keep an eye out for that, and I'll leave the rest of the game to you too. No, Carl's oh. got a question. No! Uh, what's your What's your question? I was gonna ask you about my fantasy team. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesse J Chick. You might recognize him from being Canadian and and he's on Twitter me owning right? him in fantasy and you owning him in fantasy fantasy he, hockey he, as well no not fantasy hockey I'm, oh. I'm his uh, war consigliere like in the Godfather you right. know like I advise him yeah uh, but in fantasy I'm a fellow competitor <laughs> and uh, with all his spreadsheets he doesn't hold a candle to me wow this is twice I've had Jesse do a call and twice he's been immediately sassed afterwards Spoit is like Hang on, how did they know I was here? <laughs> there you go. There it gets is. The camera gets the reveal. I mean, you have a team that's going to play Valkyrie if Valkyrie's on the board. There's got to be the awareness that's paid towards it as well. The strike starts its way now. Liquid, as we said, they'll have some benefits of working on defense. M80 has generally struggled with this half, as pretty much every single team at this event yep. has. If they can maybe get the first here, if they can push it into a five to two and keep that energy, well, they're trying to sort of get that momentum going. The gunfight's engaged already down oil pit. Well, M80 had quite a lot of energy on their attacking side against Bleed on console yesterday. So oh, a different map, especially one that is a bit more attacker sided than Clubhouse that we're playing right now. But M80 can bring that energy if they're being faced with a passive stagnant defense and they can find gaps or create gaps in particular positions. They've shown that they have the decisiveness and the ability to just make a decision and flood it alongside the rest of the team. We already see a lot of utility being dumped down blue. No follow up as they're just trying to clear these Kiva barricades that Palu is playing behind. They do so successfully and now as we move into the final minute Gomez is thinking about opening up the church wall. We also hope to see some hatch play from M80 as well but this is a similar spot that Liquid was in. Going into often 5v5 or 5v4s where the defense still has a lot of angles so for M80 to make this a little bit better hopefully we'll find a kill on maybe somebody in this blue position has spoit. 
just looking at an oil pit at the moment. Yeah, but he's been there for about a minute. Volps removes Yorgo, so boy, that's the sort of call to action. And the first thing he's going to hit is a prox. The second thing is bullets from Nesk. Great two-piece. I decide as Gomez then gets removed just in the corridor of long. Iconic. He's trying to replace the space, but really, it's a crossfire. And unfortunately, he is fully, fully in the targeting range of Liquid. We are now 4-2-3. Four to three indeed, and man, these frag grenade changes, you can see the effect they're having on some of these attacking strategies because this site is so hard to attack now, it seems, if you aren't able to take down the blue player, who you, yep. can't, who you can't nade anymore. Nope. Often is gonna have a warden supporting him in that case. Or if you're not able to open the church wall and be able to work a pick on that wall or at the motor door in particular. There's so much defensive utility, and for both Liquid and Mady, we can see how difficult it is to cut through it. So, Liquid get their first round, and as Jesse mentioned, CCTV, Emmy, it's a, it's a little good for them. It's a little bit of a good thing. It's a little bit good, a little bit good. Oh, you were listening to him? I was just thinking... He's, my, he's was, my best good friend. He's your best good friend? He's my best good friend. I thought he was Parker. Oh, he's my father. Oh, right. You were actually quite his father and son on the broadcast. I know, I saw that. Ferme changed it. Shout out to Ferme. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out, shout out Fermi, woohoo! He's working the B-string. Oh, uh, well, Zay might be go. Now. Yeah, he might be asleep right now. That's right. 43. And, well, with an entire swap round, I'm wondering if they were wondering it was a different site. Instead, you've got the most popular operator at the entire event, which is almost a reflection of the nate change. Gomez bringing Buck. It used to be a sort of toss-up with Sledge taking preference because they had nades. Sledge, obviously, slower, loses the nades, and now you've got, well, the decision. What do you bring? Buck, he has a bit more pace, and what was the first thing, which used to be played by Golgona in EUs all the time back then, was the ability to change between a skeleton key and get into a gunfight. You can go from one to the other instantly, which in this method where you really need to take your attacking opportunities to get them. Beautiful, perfect, lovely, goodbye, CCTV wall. Nobody's going to complain when you're attacking Jim Bedroom to have the ability to rip up the entirety of the floorboards inside of Master Bedroom. Who would complain about that? Especially when you're facing a Mira, and Nesk is the Mira? Wood enthusiasts would complain. Who? Wood enthusiasts? Yeah, people who are like, that's true. A, that's a way I imagine good Car number. I imagine carpenter carpenters are very unhappy about this operator. They hate Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah. Listen, the streets are sand. The streets are sand. The carpenters the are very upset. The streets. They're staying. The wood, the wood line streets. I'm, I've been talking to these wood boys <laughs> down, down the street. They're saying, oh, they hate to see what happens to the soft walls. They do. On this Palu. He's ready to see if he can try and make this hard wall a connection, but they sort of got the breach then held back. And now they're going to see if they can cut off the rotate. Palu takes half his damage because he was just on the other side of that keeper barricade as it got hit by the breaching panel. So he almost had one of the most, well, hilarious, depending how you look at it, downs. Attackers have located a bomb. They crossed it, a minute 20. And still, every player still standing. The pressure here is starting to get a little bit hotter for M80, who have otherwise just taken CC and are still, you know, I don't know if, I don't think Jacuzzi's open. I don't know about Logi Hatch. Still closed with a mirror window to bait some impact tricks against it, or, well, a C4. They only really have C4. Yeah. But you also do have M80, they've acquired control of cash, but it's been 30 seconds since they really cleared out that position and with Jacuzzi wall not open, we're again running out of time to really have an impact in this round and set yourself up good for an execute. With all five Liquid players sitting inside the site, they have Kiba barriers to try and deal with anybody contesting the master window. Iconic also setting up to hop inside a gym window without solid plat wall pressure. M80 are betting this almost entirely on gunfights or even oversights from Liquid. Dias Lucas can watch and see if anybody rotates up, but aside from that, we're all, it's a gamble at this point. I I mean, they're still trying to get themselves set in. Iconic's either side of the gym equipment. Spoit gets one, but now the kit's cold and traded out. Volps and Volps again. Three versus two. Yoga finally gets himself towards the door. Almost gets the ponytail shot off of Volps, but they're still surviving, still wiggling, getting themselves some protection onto the window. Diaz doesn't really have the time to get the full smash and grab here as the wall finally pops open. They're playing the bar position, gets the oh. bolts, and Yoga finds the pop up. But five seconds left. It's about to be a one versus one as the other has to plant, just has to get the cover through the bed. They swing. There it is! Oh, it was sort of a gamble. They thought the player was underneath, so they go on the bed, but all that did was make it a flick of the coin. And also unfortunate for Yaga, too, Emmy. Volps peaks left, or not Volps? Was that Volps? No, Volps was dead in gym. That was Nesk. Nesk. 
Nesk peaks, peaks left, his left. Yaga peaks, his left. They peak. Pe <laughs> Keep going. I started trying. I'm just, still on this analogy. My, I'm still with you. My brain, my brain was trying to mix, miss and pass. Right. Miss Man. each other like ships in the night. <laughs> was the analogy I was trying to go ships for. Ships in the night. Yeah, which cannot see each other because it's dark. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because true. it's dark. Apart from one of them had headlights, and they were pointing at the, a guy that was planning a diffuser on a bed. I don't get this analogy. Why is there a bed in those seats? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna ignore you. Why do they have guns? <laughs> Guns. But either way, Gunboats. it was an okay. okay it was an okay start for M80. They're able to clear out cash, but the conversion at that point, specifically opening up the jacuzzi wall, was rough. No. There might be no. a little tech slow down here for a second. Allegedly. Allegedly. The streets are saying. <laughs> Give me Jesse back. <laughs> Give me Jesse's picture in picture. I think we're, one day. And I'm going to just throw this up into the air. And by that, I mean, say it loud enough that I hope production does it to be really a very funny bit. Is <laughs> Because we work in bits here. Is we do a picture in picture, and then it turns into an argument. And then we get a picture in picture in picture of someone else smaller in Jesse's picture. So it's just like, it's, so it's like a Russian doll, it, of course. It's kind of like, oh my god, Hello. we got him! Ah, do we actually have Jesse? I'm back. Big how, many, how many points, big dog, uh, for what country? For, I didn't That's hear the question. That's a Eurovision joke. You're not going to get What's that. Your, no. It's too deep. So, Jesse, how's your fantasy team doing today? Okay. okay. I am in third. You're in second. Let's don't talk this, like you're I'm crashing just, me in fantasy right now, It was a right genuine now, question. Okay, how was your this, fantasy team? I don't track it live. I'll find it out at the end of the day. All right. Well, okay. Let's stop yeah. this. Let's stop this, Beef Children. Do you have any seizure-related questions for Jesse? Uh, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I might. Uh, Jesse, hey, so mm -hmm. let's just say. Yep. If, let's assume Clubhouse is a defender-sided map and the stats haven't suddenly changed. Thank you, Kino. He's, so, me, he's giving me the keys. Oh, what are they? Oh, the you? keys, too. I, he didn't say? I the know keys to the are. game, perhaps? I know, I'm, the keys to success, well, idiot. On that, on that note, okay. Jesse, I assume you watched the last round. I did. I was watching. So that's good. You're doing your job. I appreciate that. So as you saw, M80 were able to clear out the cash position decently quick, but yeah. no success on the jacuzzi wall. What, what's your take on that? What's going on there? Well, I did, Jacuzzi Wall was tough. I mean, they wanted to go mostly in from uh, from construction side, right? My biggest question with that push was Iconic, I believe, brought the Diffuse Kit into gym, uh, yep. into gym. When there was a player in gym that was actively fighting, the Azami was there. I think if they initially had Diffuse Kit in construction with the, with the bulk of that push, maybe that goes a little bit better. Maybe they can kind of push more together, because with Iconic jumping in, immediately dropping the Diffuse Kit, I don't know, that was a little bit uh, questionable on my end. But, you know, it's those mistakes. Sometimes the Diffuse Kit doesn't end up where you want it to be. Sometimes you don't able to, you're not able to clear out Jim uh, as much as you may have liked to. So, well, yeah, a bit of an awkward one. Well, okay. And also, well, I got another question. Are you going to question or make a joke? I'm a, no, this is an actual question. Okay. Jesse's on the stand right now. Jesse is on the stand. So, Jesse, Jesse, as I'm sure you've been keeping track of, uh, uh -huh. we see a liquid win on church. We see a liquid win on gym. What mm -hmm. site's up next? Uh, I would have to imagine it's CCTV cash, unless oh. they're maniacs who are going to bar stage. And, and I've unfortunately been hit with short-term amnesia. What's so, what's so big about that bomb site for this particular matchup? That is the bomb site that currently Team Liquid have a 100% percent uh, success rate on defending, but it's also the only bomb site M80 have successfully attacked Whoa. on Clubhouse, Statistics all tournaments. This exciting. is their second time playing Clubhouse. This is good. They've gone, what? This, they've gone through 10 attacks now. This will be their 10th attack That's a lot. on Clubhouse. Jesse, on the street, you are a man of the people. The people love you. Uh, but I have this sort of question. What's the atmosphere like? Down there, how tense? Because you, you're fluent in Portuguese, as yes. yep. everyone should know. If yeah. there are any, <laughs> Jesse, half half uh, half Brazilian. Half Brazilian. Any fans that come over to him, please speak fluent Portuguese to him. He'll understand. But you, I don't know if you've been in the room. Mm -hmm. The shouting that we got in the first couple of rounds, it feels like it's died down a little. Is that because M80 have started to lose? Um, I will say I've not been in with the players. I've been out here with kind of the support staff and everybody watching and the production crew and all that. And I will say out here, it's gotten louder as Liquid have started winning rounds because there's a lot of Liquid kind of support yeah. people out here, a lot of uh, people around the Team Liquid organization and the team who obviously are, are very invested in Team Liquid getting this map win. So uh, it's getting a little bit more exciting out here. You know, M80's got a, a sizable crowd as well. You can yeah. see them in the back there. You can I think see them. They're just a little bit, a little bit... Quieter, Do you know what else we can see so in the back, far. Jesse? What can you see? Bye, you Dad. leaving us, we're back in the game. Bye, Jesse. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, production, as well, for being... Do they just have it? I think, I think, Do they just have him on standby? And, and, guys, I think the biggest takeaway there, I am still leading Jesse in fantasy <laughs> at the moment. I love so. the idea 
that they have just a deployable Jesse. I, I do too. They have a they have a mobile Jesse. I think I'm ask him for the most inopportune times. <laughs> they, have, they have they have an all terrain yeah, deployable double Jesse double J check. <laughs> it's like it's like a, it's like a list of like things we can do. It's like oh we can do like connect yeah. four. We can shave mustaches. Uh, Jesse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> production can deliver you a Jesse J check in 15 minutes or less. Five seconds to go. <laughs> tap, tap taps production. You know any bad? You know any Jesse J checks we can fit? To I'm, I'm saying them like Jesse me. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse. <laughs> four a piece, four a piece, M80. Two rounds have now slipped away, and this is the round that's going to be very exciting. A bandit trickery is afoot, doubled up with the Kai Yi. Now, there is a Thatcher on the board, so, and you've got the uh, Selmas and the Thermite, so really this breach should get opened pretty cleanly. And that's the biggest thing at this point for me is that what M80 can really do well with these breaches is open them up quickly and convert and execute immediately afterwards. They don't really have a lot of nades. They have the Ying, which Liquid used a lot to open up the garage position, but they don't have that Monty. The Capitao's banned. Maybe they could use the Grim, but directly speaking, we're in a rough no! spot and reset. What? Takes down one exothermic immediately. Liquid have the play here. Okay, that's what is supposed to happen. So you do the exothermic and then you do the breaching charge. You do it at the same time and you guarantee it. <laughs> Luckily, they pulled off the breaching charge. Otherwise, it would have been poorly traded sort of tech there. But at the same time... Oh, their summers are gone. Yeah, I mean... That was that wasn't great. Let's, let's be honest. That approach it, it's been done a lot in this tournament. These guys have done it a lot. They know they can do better. You pretty much deploy one either side of the wall, roll the catch, and then the bandit will get one of the two electrics, but the other one will guaranteed pop off, and you get your breach. You get your range. We now only have pocket tin openers, which they're going to use on the far wall. And then one exothermic, which they might need to use on construction wall to try and get themselves in towards the pressure on the back end. But either way, not great. It's a tricky position for M80 now because you feel obligated to rotate to go for a construction push. But if you don't, if you aren't able to acquire garage control, then you have an entire line from the top of rafters to the construction wall and the construction doorway that Ness can contest alongside resets playing inside a cache as well. That doesn't even include Lagona's playing top red. There's a perfect crossfire on that position with multiple, at least three players who can all deal with that spot. M80 are rotating over. We see the Ying and Spoit all moving into this spot. They need to probe for picks at this point. Use those Candelas to their advantage, but priority number one has to be this con wall. Opening up underneath with only 40 seconds left. They don't have garage. They don't have anything else, and they don't, don't have the ability to get rid yeah. of the electrics. Don't even this have EMPs. Just going to turn into a, a run up towards the rafters, up towards the stairs. Ness gets the easy first pick onto Iconic. 20 seconds. They still have Gomez throwing these blinds up with Palu getting spoilt, though, and Ness getting his second inside rafters. It is just Diaz and Yoga trying to smash into what is a fully loaded still site. There is nothing structurally that has been removed here. And they're just running through their own bees. Just running up that hill. Running up that hill. And running up that hill. <laughs> but if that is not an example of what can happen on a CCTV attack in this meta, I don't know what else is because you have the Capital ban. Yep. You have the frag grenades. Uh -huh. You can't just cook and immediately throw. And then if you don't open that plat wall, all the hard breach, all the EMPs, say for one extra thermic and some can openers wasted, but because all those EMPs are gone, opening up the con wall, the plat wall, anything electrified is now much, much harder. So they try to rotate to the construction push, realize the wall is electrified, have to pivot again because they know they can't open it, and then they suddenly just have to co cobble together a garage push from complete nothingness because they've now on their third push of the round. And it's all because one successful bandit trick and destroying all or getting rid of all the EMPs from M80 forced their hand on multiple occasions. I mean, the timeout was obviously called there. That was called by M80 to have the conversation. They've gone from being 4-2 up to now 5-4 down. And we said it was always going to be a problem. It's always going to be tougher on your attack. And they just had no, no time left for the final engagements. It was pretty simple there outside of a single battle around maybe, maybe, arguably, the most classic bit of utility exchange we have in the whole game, which is the breach onto that wall. 
That is, if you open a dictionary and go to uh, Rainbow Six Siege, there's probably a high chance that it's just a picture of the CC wall breach. I don't know why this dictionary has this in print. It doesn't really make sense because it's a thing of words and that's three words and a picture. But I keep going with this. This is what happens when you buy your dictionary from Ubisoft. Keep building the bridge. When you, when you buy your dictionary from Ubisoft, comes with a, objective is to locate a bomb company manual. Use. Company manual. There you go. I'm sure Hap has it. You know he had the rule book ready and saved on his phone for a conversation the other day. It's cause, it's cause Who pulls a rule book out in a conversation? It's because Hap's the goat. He used no disagree. He used to uh, pro <laughs> <laughs> he used to protest people uh, uh, for their moss files. Oh, so he was weird. Yeah, he was that guy. He was, he was that, that guy. Player. Well. I can say M80, not that team right now, unfortunately, on the attacking side. Then again, as we've said multiple times at this point, who is at this tournament on the attacking side? Won three rounds in a row, have liquid on every bomb site, and now they move back down to Church Arsenal. Don't see a Thatcher. Do see Ooh. secondary EMP iconic, and we're getting a cave trick no. inside of dirt. It does not land. Uh, no, it's always going to be outpaced. You've got to have that claw deployed pretty much as they're deploying the tin opener based on how long it takes things to get together. The pocket hard breach is very quick. That's the benefit of it. You can still play against other places, but that means that obviously Kitchen Hatch or Blue will be electrified. Now those are both breakable and we do have a Maverick on the board, but that's not the push we're going for. In fact, I'm kind of curious where we'll start to see this. Remember, it turned into a bit of a brawl and well, they've got the shield sort of maybe strong arm some control, but the impact DMPs, the pocket play, the claw itself is just tucked on the inside. I think they have the reveal on that. There it is. There no, no catching, no stopping, no playing against it. Oh. That's good. Moto hatch opened up. Now we have something much better than we had the previous round, at least. Even if kitchen hatch isn't opened up, you can start throwing utility down moto, have someone push up alongside somebody in blue. It won't be great, but with kitchen hatch open, there we go. This is a better position than all, both teams have been on attacking this bomb site a number of times, but oh. ask Domes Yaga. I don't even know where that was. And I, still he's found it. Neither does Yaga. Neither does he. Iconic. He's got himself pressed up against church wall and pipes. Now you don't really need the mirror window to see the danger that's coming. Now they can't see anything. But Nesk still oh, somehow finds boy. Diaz on the back end. Spoit rolling flashes that nobody's moving behind. It's an isolated shield now. Iconic is alone on the back. Gomez can't get any support there. The blinds are rolling in, but there's been no impact on the back of them. Everybody is sort of stuck. Well, now they're not stuck anymore since the afterlife. Palu with the double, the pistol, iconic alone, and a flawless defense from Liquid to push themselves to Mappeth Point. What else have they pushed themselves to? Achieve. Achievement point. Achievement point. <laughs> like, it, like, like it pops up? Yeah, it does. 30 gamer score. 30 gamer score. You just qualified to the next phase and knocked M80 out of the six Invitational 2024. That's a long achievement name, but it rings true. And maybe you've also used their tactical timeout at this point. It's not over yet. It's not over. It's only when the map comes out. Only when the map comes out, but... They're two. close. If Liquid win one more round, M80's dream is over. M80 will be a second? Not qualified team or third? I believe second. Second. I'm trying to remember what games we've had today. Well, we, we've had the Bliss D Plus game and it might be over, but I don't know. Yeah, that, that was on the other stream. So we might have the confirmation at the end of that. We know what happened in the Fear X game. We went home between Fear X and GK. If Liquid get one more round, M80 will be the team from a very deadly group to suffer Attack the fall is to a of the bliss. Yes. I was he longing that out because he was looking at his phone. Yeah, well, I was longing that I was trying to make it more dramatic. Well, no, I was, well, to be fair, he was it's reading. Not, yeah, it's not like I was, like, texting or something. No, he's I was a checking, slow reader. I was checking to see the results of the Bliss D Plus game. I was scrolling. Thank you. Bliss did win that game, so this would be our third team to go home. Third team to go home. Third team to go home. And if, as you said, if Liquid just win one more round, Don't it is Jover for M80. They have to attack this gym bedroom site. 
And if you recall, there was no jacuzzi wall opened up for M80, despite clearing out the CCTV and cash room. Iconic just resigned himself to jumping in a gym window with the diffuser and right into the waiting arms of Liquid. They are focusing heavily on the jacuzzi breach to start. Some EMPs going out. The Selma's being used as well. They've realized that nobody's on the wall and they're able to open it successfully. That's because resets is a mere window to play behind and impact grenades to help destroy these Selmas. Two minutes, M80. That might be oh. all you really have left, and oh. Is there a line in that breach? Oh. There might have been a line in that breach. Oh, can they walk into that? I think they can. I think that will block. And that's what the ping is. They've been given a bit of a bit of a boost here, You're liquid. Me. The hands of Brazilian siege has reached down and offered them the bonus on the home turf. It's starting to come together and starting to fall apart. A minute thirty. And the breach comes around onto the back. Now Volps is in an aggressive position here. And Palu's even uh, more aggressive. Distant on the far side. The roaming mute, a classic, obviously. <laughs> as they found themselves towards the bottom of blue with the slow creep up. The clash, getting the focus and attention. Seeing that Rotero drone, I wonder if DS Lucas realizes it yet, that maybe that breach is walkable. We're not entirely sure yet, but M80 have started rotating around. They got into 5v5. They haven't cleared out anything yet. CCTV cache still in the defense's hands. Palu still in the wind. Gomez might have to do a whole lot of heavy lifting to clear out Laji and the bedroom stairs just by moving up. The drop comes, and so does the guillotine. The first two are caught in half, resets in the kit. Now in the room of Lodgy themselves, Boyd and Nesk are finding bodies apiece. Gomez does get one. There is a triple kill for Nesk. Diaz, all that's left of M80's hopes of not going home. Reset calls the good half. Volp says something in Portuguese, but the only me. thing I think being understood right now is a little bit of Vamos Liquid. One, two, three, Palu with a C4, a breach he cannot pass through. He's smiling on his face, but we have our team going home. And it has been a frustrating run recently for NA's M80. And unfortunately, they could not quite get it all together here. Liquid, they've still got a map ahead of them, maybe two. But the series itself has already been decided and the fate has been sealed. And we had a rehost, by the way. Since the rehost, Nesk had seven kills. Seven kills since the rehost, a dominant defensive half. Now M80 in a difficult position where they have to play out the rest of the series despite their fate being decided. I mean, I think it's the first map that we're about to have that has no impact at all. We, yep. we obviously have had teams that are playing to just change places. There's still things to go for there. This, what we will have next is our first impactless map, and you know, your heart sort of breaks for a roster that has really tried to find itself together in the new meta. Cannot quite piece it together. Someone has to go home. Where do we have to go? To find Jesse to talk about hockey, probably. We'll be back after a quick break.
Liquid have sent home an NA team. They have dashed the hopes and dreams in a single map. Clubhouse, Liquid's map pick, goes their way, and pretty convincingly, Jesse. They absolutely did, and I mean, that first half, uh, it was looking hopeful, a 4-2 split. They started off three rounds in a row for M80. There was definitely some momentum that was starting to brew, but by God, did Nesk shut that down. Came on in, defensive half, just completely slammed M80. We saw back-to-back -back rounds, flawless on the defense. Tough for the, uh, the North American squad. Two rounds on attack as well is pretty good in this climate. You know, you could look yeah. at that side swap and go 4-2 for M80. Okay, you know, they've, they've done a great job there. They've done a fantastic job on the defense. But realistically, it was the two rounds that, that Liquid were able to get on their attacks. Clubhouse, incredibly defender-sided. Something around 70% defender-sided, defender yep. win rate. So Liquid did a good job. Sure. Yeah, certainly did. Uh, anything in particular from Operator Bears? Did you notice anything that uh, kind of started to skew things? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Manic, because oh. I did. What? Uh, no in, way. in fact, I, I talked at the halftime point that um, M80 had only successfully attacked CCTV Cash the last time they played this map. It was the only bomb site they were able to get a win on. And Team Liquid's Capitao ban, I think, is a direct response to that. They knew M80 were already weak attacking the basement, M80 were already weak attacking gym and bedroom. So take away the best tool you could possibly bring for attacking CCTV. CCTV cash, and that meant that M80 couldn't attack any of the three bomb sites. Although Liquid started off losing a couple rounds in a row, going down 4-2 uh, on that first half, I think Liquid were plenty confident going into their own defensive half, knowing, listen, we can win all three of these sites that we have to, and we can be very confident in that. Yeah, they knew that, and you know, when you got a day when Ness gets himself online, it is always going to be a good day. Battle of the entry as well that we highlighted at the top of the show, we had a graphic <laughs> showing that. Volps versus Spoit. Volps 3-0 on the entry, Spoit 2-0 oh on the entry. So not a terrible performance yeah. in the grand scheme of things, but when there's so much pressure on one single map of Siege, strange things happen. It certainly does. And, you know, we, we were saying first half, 2-4 split, that, that is... Pretty standard at the moment. Yeah, that's uh, fine for both teams. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 just neither here nor there. Um, however, Liquid, as you said, once they got to their defensive side, that looked infallible. It was Nesk, you know, and yes. it's it's been a while since I've stood on a desk <laughs> and said it was Nesk, and all you can really come up with is, well, yeah, you got a three k here, you got a couple k there, you got a, yeah. you got a clutch here. It's so nice to be able to say that because he hasn't, hasn't had the greatest performance of late. But to see him online, to see him doing the things that he can do, this is a veteran of the game. It's, mm -hmm. it's great to see. Yeah, and he was he was doing what he does best, right? He was holding down those power positions. Whether that was blue when they were holding down instead of the basement, whether that was rafters when he had to keep a barrier wall set up, it seemed like he was unkillable. And, I, you know, you got to admire I made his attempts. They tried to get in there, especially with blue. I believe they kept trying to go with the Grim. They're trying to go with the Habana. But then, you know, Diaz would get shot and Spoit yeah. would really be able to make his way in through oil pit and it just always seemed to fall apart for them so yeah i mean when you're going up against nesk this is a player who has been so consistent through the entirety of siege and he's still got it round nine m80 I know you've got something you want to break down. Yeah, we, we've got something um, we wanted to talk about. Obviously, we, we talk about how attackers have a really hard time of things now, and you've got to bring a lot of the necessary tools to get the job done. We see an occasion here where we've got double hard breach. We have a Thatcher, so you should really be able to get the wall open because Bandit can only trick one side. A little bit of lazy Thatcher in there, in all honesty, and we can see that Resets has no issue whatsoever getting that trick off. And this is the main focus for M80, right? Look at the lineup that they've brought. They want to try and get this wall open. And I would argue this is a fundamental. This is a basic. You mm -hmm. need to be able to get the job done. Sure, they're able to open the wall, but it isn't enough. They only get one single ace charge going off. The bandits get reactivated. We got Volps able to throw a nade out and get a trick off. And the, the culmination of that round was M80 walking up through Garage, and they've not really been able to take any ground. So back to basics. Yeah. I think that obviously the positive on that second half was Nesk having a fantastic showing. I think the big negative for M80 was just their problem with walls. Whether it was the cash wall that we saw in that clip or whether it was the jacuzzi wall where they were attacking on Jim, the final round, just a sliver of, of unbreached wall preventing them from crouching in or walking in. Yeah. Um, that's been a big problem for M80 throughout that matchup. And that's something they're gonna look back on and be like, that stings. Yeah, it certainly does. But uh, look, they've got to dust themselves off as we are headed to Skyscraper next. The matchup, which unfortunately now for M80, doesn't have a lot of stakes to it, but they can still play spoils. I tell you what, credit for M80 for getting back in the booth. It's not easy when you know you're going home, when you know your fate has been sealed in map number one to get back in that chair mm. and to load into map number two. This is not a game that is going to be pretty. It's probably not one that they're going to want to remember, but let's hope they go in and have a good time. Yeah. 
Yeah, and for Team Liquid, plenty on the line. If they can win this map here, if they get the clean 2-0, they lock themselves into the upper bracket. They will jump ahead of one of, uh, I believe it's FaZe Clan or Bleed. Yeah. Um, and one of those teams will be able to pass them up, but if we don't know who. That'll depend on the next game. So it's going to be a big map for them. And if you look at the Skyscraper from Team Liquid, this might be a bit of a challenge. I yeah. like the map pick from M80 because the last time Team Liquid won Skyscraper was October 2nd, 2022. That's wow. over a year ago at this point. So uh, they've lost it five times since then. There's plenty of odds to look back on Team Liquid. Not a comfortable map coming into the second uh, game here. No, unfortunately not, but it is time to get underway with Skyscraper. We've got Emmy and a very sad boy. Unfortunately, the boy is very sad. I look like your mother. And I want to go home. My boy wants to go home. I want to go home. I'm sure M80 also probably wants to go home. But they have a game of Rainbow Six that they need to play, don't they? This is the saddest game with Diaz, Lucas, and Gomez in it since they lost to Yell the Parabellum. I'm in shambles right now. <laughs> He's in shambles physically, emotionally, structurally. <laughs> what are my bones liquefy? What do you mean? <laughs> The, I mean, the boys in bits. The boy, <laughs> the boys in bits. They should have let Kino play. They should have let Kino play. That would have been very funny. What if he is playing? You don't know. That's true. I mean, I can see the lobby. He's got Willie's luggage. Maybe he's playing <laughs> he for us. Does him. have Willie's luggage? M A. See, my heart breaks for you. Liquid celebration. Obviously, there is still a game of siege ahead of us. Hey, maybe two. Sports got the hood up. Sports got the hood up. To be fair, that was the Pengu buff. Was it? Yeah, when Did Peng he play with this hoodie? Put his head up. His head up. <laughs> he's, he's playing face forehand on the desk the whole time. That, <laughs> that's what made desk. his career so impressive. Yeah, and and then he and then he heads up. The heads up, and he's dialed in. And he's dialed in because he's like, oh yeah, I can look at the screen. That's my impression of that. Genuinely, like, might be one of the worst impressions I've ever heard of. <laughs> Have you heard my Tim impression? I want to hear Tim. Those laser gates. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Did you say doors, laser gates, or those laser gates? Doors, laser gates. But it's like a very... Can I... Can it's I a close? very hard TA. I want to close my eyes. Tim, what do, what uh, what gadget is that? Laser gates! <laughs> Tim, Tim, what round are we going into? Overtime, Emmy! <laughs> okay. okay, that was you, more strength. You lost it on the second one. The first, I'm with you. I've closed my eyes. I see, I see his sheen of his head <laughs> cresting like the baby from Teletubbies coming over the hill. That, that, I didn't watch Teletubbies. Okay, yeah, well. <laughs> I the guess second I'm sounded a, like... I'm a Cocoa Melon The baby. second sounded like Shrek. <laughs> I did sound like Shrek. Can you say in Tim's voice, get out, my swamp? <laughs> get out, my <Ms>. swamp! <laughs> Hey, by the way, if you guys are wondering, why are these casters so annoying? Why why are the number one and number two yappers in Tom Clancy's Rainbow <laughs> Six Siege not talking about the game? It's because M80 are going home. By losing one map in this series, they are eliminated from the, from the entirety of the Six Invitational 2024. And we've already, I think, kind of talked about enough how sad that is for the players, yeah. North America, for this project in general. We don't need to hammer it home. I think the split here as well was that so far, every other game we've had, the result comes with the main result of the series, not a per map yeah. result. Yeah, M80 were the first team of the games, I can't remember if the one later on needs it as well, that needed the clean 2 They needed all the four points to be able to get to the same level as Liquid, or jump them, and then win the head-to-head. -head. Yeah, the other elimination is going on right now. I think they're knocking scars. <laughs> Wow, Yoga is already killed Volt. Dude, shout out. Shout out, Yoga. Huge for the program. I mean, done within the first five seconds. That's maybe the Oh, he's shooting the corpse. What are we doing? That's a war crime. Listen, this is, okay. This is going to be a litmus test for the game. I'm going to hear him out. Are we going to get a serious game or M80 just going to rush every round? This is what I'm really curious about. I'll be impressed if they actually give it a good old college try. But I also wouldn't be shocked if we just like. I mean, it, you, it's got to be rough, right? Regardless of like, it's but multiple games to get you into the position. But then from this point onwards, this is the heartbreak. This is the moment. And then you've got to go back out on stage and perform once again in front of tens of thousands of people. That is so rough. They know 
already their phones are blowing up with commiseration messages or whatever from friends and loved ones and, and they've got to sit it out for another 45 maybe another hour and a half if if things go that way as weird as it is to say but it's also their swan song because everybody dreams of playing at six invite even people that never heard of rainbow six they close their eyes what do they see the hammer the hammer unfortunately hey, we don't understand why we don't it's like it's like it's, it's one like of the that new nicholas cage film where everybody dreams of him is that true yeah there's a new film it's, it looks funny i dream of nicholas cage yeah it's holding like the hammer well and yeah and you will extend your time here in this game regardless of how rough it is regardless of knowing you're one of the teams that's going home can i say something out of pocket uh, I, I guess this is the best start to attack an m80 have had this entire series well, it is there, Matt. Palu is going to take some of it back. Iconic swings up the back of the stairs, gets the take onto Palu, resets. Resets a player. Ha, ha, ha. I've made that joke many times. You have already. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, I'm old. How old are you? 25. Thank you. Three to one. There is a down player. It's technically a two versus one. They have 45 seconds. They're not going to be able to get the player up, though, because of the danger that there is. The pop over the top. Resets, rotates towards the opposite end of gold. Wants to see if he can swing the back of this player as the pickup comes through. Another three versus one, 30 seconds. They don't have the diffuser. But this is probably just gonna turn into a brawl. He is sat on it. There's the first. What if he clutches this? Bit of a surprise strike. The second, he does a lot of damage to the player. They're break dancing on the floor. Remember, Iconic's gone down, so he cannot do that again. Reset. He's trying to get himself rotated. 15 seconds. They still don't have the kit. They've got to rotate around. They finally get it. They're going to go for the plant on towards the gold side and the door itself with the cover coming through. They're just tucked on the breach. There it is. A bit of smiles. There is an attack round one. Something that they could not do on the previous one. Dog got two kills at least. I was going to say, what? Are you going to say something? No. Oh, okay. okay. That, that space was for you. Well, no, I mean, Yaga got two kills at least. I appreciate it. We have an overall solid attack. They go for the roam clear. They open up the exit for the office wall, as you can see. Very nice couple shots by Yaga. They then push up, not really in the drum, but iconic. Goes to try and split the forces in two. Wins the initial fight, and at that point, M80 have a solid inroad through drum into the bomb site overall. Obviously, they drop some bodies to resets in the clutch, but there's a very on-the-fly attacking strategy, and considering they considering they don't really have anything to play for i can appreciate making a solid effort and again putting something together that was overall quite nice just double checking some stuff so liquid obviously they've guaranteed at least a point from this which alongside the setup before so obviously got one point versus bleed one point versus w7m and then two Five points or three remaining. points versus VP. So if they win this out, Bleed's game to bleed. So Bleed play VP later on today. Okay, so that's... We're crunching that. the numbers, everyone. Yeah, yeah, just crunching the numbers, because obviously Liquid could jump the bleed, but then Bleed have the opportunity to jump back. So Liquid could get themselves out of the lower bracket, Indeed. I think. But it depends if... Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's the three plus the two. It's a two zero. That makes five. If it's two zero, they'll get themselves up towards nine. And then, whoa, Iconic takes a lot of damage. Uh, and then at that point, so there is a lot still to play for us. And then but yeah, and I had done my numbers wrong this morning. And then, and then at that point, they they, they, they they get all the way into the winner's bracket. They're automatically seated to the grand finals. <laughs> and then they just cut through the rest of the opposition. Okay, and I had, Liquid are the champions of 6 okay, Invitation 2024. I, I had things a little bit wrong. Um, you have things that, you have read the rule book that I printed to you as a joke. Oh. I'm sorry. That wasn't real? Yeah, we trained Carter wrong. You wrote real rulebook at the top. joke. Volps. I spelled it with two E's. Volps. <laughs> Gets the swing at the bottom of black. Attacker removes Spoit. Gets the earlier take. The dock be gone. They haven't quite been able to have the impact over these opening two rounds as of this point. Gomez sort of drifting his way with the cross fight. They're trying to get the pinch on Volps, but I mean, he doesn't have to dabble too much. Remember where the site is and where he is. You could not be further away from it. And he's basing attention Attackers with the shotgun. The bomb this black stairs position is always difficult to clear and usually nets a lot of focus for the attacking side when they're attacking T and karaoke. But right now, Volps Activate is just, Gomez. like you said, baiting, trying to get the attention of M80. Gomez buying into it will attempt to take a fight, but one pump from Volps will be the end of him. 
There was nothing gained from M80 to really clear out this position. No. They're just feeding him bodies one by one. Volps doesn't get the three piece, unfortunately, so no stat padding right here, but still a lot of damage done to M80 on a wild goose chase to nowhere. I mean, there's a minute left. They've lost two and a half players because of the shotgun hit on towards Yoga, and they still have to, I don't know, do the whole utility clear of the map of Dragon, of Terrace, of pushing up towards the side and the breach itself and playing against these players. Doesn't look good in terms of the trade out of the time itself. Diaz helping some. Oh, <laughs> hoping somebody drifts in and then knocks Palu right back out. Great, great shot there. Three apiece as they rotate round towards the opposite end. Attackers Hitting right onto the bar itself there. Sort of stepping in a little bit cautiously, a little bit coquettishly. Ooh, that's a nice word. I like that word quite a bit. Do you know what else I think Liquid are big fans of? What? The fact that uh, Iconics on low HP, M80 are flooding into the bomb site, right into the crosshairs of all the remaining Liquid players, and this should be a pretty easy cleanup on the second defensive yeah, round. Oh, hold on a second. DS Lucas does find one, and at least back in my Five North American Challenger League days, we referred to this man as the Clutch Minister, but he started the defuse, we've hit triple zero, and he hits the KD. And decides to give Liquid their first. So I was still doing some maths. Crunching the numbers, so, flipping them over. Obviously. Sending them to me. Okay, this is, imagine I'm... You're an island owner now. <laughs> pointing at a whiteboard. And I've written down crazily, liquid, question mark, question mark, exclamation mark, 4.9 points. That's just a heart. <laughs> I did just write a heart. That's so nice. Yes. I showed it production, you guys at home can't see. If they get into that situation, Virtus Pro off my head, they're on eight points, bleed. Whoa. Six or seven. Oh, you're, you're supposed to be the the stat guy. I'm not the stat guy. If that's I that's not my of, thing. If I ask this of Hap, it's almost like we're different people. Wait, you're not Hap? I can't do a Hap impression. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm all tangled up. <laughs> can, you, can you speak any Dutch? <laughs> I can. Oh, is you want to hear? Is it? Can you say it on Do you know yes, what you're you can. Do you know yes, what you're you about can. to say? I know exactly what I'm about to okay, say. say it. The heaven and serious problem. That means we have a serious problem. <laughs> what do you know? You just said the English in an accent, surely. Attackers what? Say it again. The heaven yeah. and serious yeah. problem. That you just said and serious problem at the end there. Yeah, I know. Just because Dutch is an unserious language doesn't mean it's incorrect. <laughs> I understand. I, thought, it just, I understand it just looks like we have been in serious problem. Yeah, I didn't know Swedish chef was speaking Dutch this whole time. One of these. And M80 will start towards their approach. Their lineup is one that can sort of get a bit of a lockdown here. Liquid, they'll still be set up in their chairs because the numbers that I'm getting him to double check, if they are where I think they are, this is the problem about leaving my phone in the other room, is you could have them. If Liquid 2 0 this, Regardless of the result later, they might guarantee themselves at least third. Well, so and again, uh, to, to actually credit to Hap, he is, he is, <laughs> he is very, very more astute on the mini on the mini league rules. Whoop. But well, hold on, let's watch let's watch these candelas happen. Okay, well you talk about them. Oh, well, okay. Well, all right, whatever. My fault. We saw some candelas from Spoit, as I just mentioned. He's got three remaining. Shout out to me for picking out this key bit of information. But it's a, it is a barbecue and kitchen defense from Liquid. M80 right now are just trying to go for a standard top four clear, but Spoit all the way over on the exhibition side has used two Candelas to really accomplish nothing. Nesk is still chilling in mini bar. Palu could easily support him from drum, or Volps could as well from shrine. And Gomez is taking so much damage down below. We're a minute and a half in, and there's no progress from M80 on this top four clear. Uh, Jesse sending you messages about the questions that we are asking, and I guess M80 are trying to send themselves in towards to take directly onto the kitchen itself. Yogi gets the opener of Palu, and Legonis gets his Le Legonis shot off. As Gomez is going to try and drive his way in, they catch the, the EDs, and Gomez catches the end of Legonis with the grenade. Volk still holding on to the verticality. Goes for a rotate right into Yoga. He's able to get the second. Nesk means that it's not going to be a flawless round. Ooh, just misses the take onto Diaz Lucas. We have another M80 round here. So anyways, back to the maths. Back to the maths. Basically, we, as we can all agree, M80 are playing, not M80, 
whoops, Liquid are playing for potential to go into the upper bracket. Right now, they're in the lower bracket, yeah. just in the position on the standings. A win in this game, be it 2-0 or 3-0, would very well put them in the upper bracket, depending on how the tiebreakers... I'm about to sneeze. Hold on. Do I, do I actually have to hold on? Because professionally, I can just keep talking. You can be you, you okay, talking. Just, if you I'll want. just do No, my okay, job. I fought off the sneeze. <laughs> I, I fought it off. You want to finish your point? My immune system running Hall of Fame defense right now. <laughs> actually, your immune Boy. system wouldn't fight the sneeze. So the point I was finishing was, obviously, they're fighting to try and find a spot in the upper bracket, but there's potential they could... <laughs> they, they could tie with Bleed and Virtus Pro. Yeah. That's basically what the desk said. Yeah. And so... Oh, we listened to those guys. I did. <laughs> I didn't. You were in the... You were, you were in the back. <laughs> yeah, and my phone ran out of battery, so I went to put that on charge. I stole Tim. Sorry, wait. I'll we literally just reinvented the wheel. I went over to Tim and I said, Tim, I need to plug my phone in. Five seconds and he left said... I don't know what he said. No, this is the time to see your Oh, this is improv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. This is improv. He said, I don't have a charger. <laughs> okay, that was the worst so far. Uh, two to one, M80. They've doubled their success of the day, seeing as they weren't able to capture any of the attack rounds on the previous map on Club. Let's see how much they can drive. Now, Skyscraper was their map. That was their sort of situation here. And they can make things a little bit easier for the other two teams that are fighting for the second and third place, VP and Bleed, who play later on, because the less points, obviously, Liquid get, even if they win it in 2-1, not a 3-0, as you said, that's impossible, it's not a best of five, you will still see a little bit of benefit from the side of Bleed, who could only need to get one extra. It means, well, in that case, everybody's sort of got some tough results. There's been a lot of overtimes, and a lot of three maps in this group. A lot indeed. In no small part because of the chaos that W7M have thrown this group into by just not being, you know, dominant enough to win 2-0 every series. And of course, dropping that game against Virtus Pro. And because Liquid have also beat VP, Bleed have beat M80, also put up a good showing against Liquid, because everyone has really taken points off each other, it's an extremely close affair that finds Liquid both in potential for elimination before this map happened, and also now in a position to potentially get all the way up to third or second, depending on what happens. But, of course, they have to get there first, and M80 actually have their lead. Two attacks at the moment. And on T and Karaoke, they were able to find one here as well. But the clear on the nest was a lot more successful last time, and Yaga hasn't just drive-by taken down Ooh. two players like he did before. It's instead Liquid firmly holding on. I mean, they just set themselves up. They had the early losses, you said, last time. This time, they didn't get caught. They were able to sort of rebuild, restructure. They read where the approach from M80 was. Gomez up the house stairs does get one, but quickly picked back up as they also find themselves once again in that familiar tale labeled Yoga is alone. Here he is. Very long, though. Sent off Liquid. They stepped up. They've got the heat. Nice shots in the chat. They are... More than happy to keep sort of setting them up. And I guess that's the thing about Liquid is they start maps slow, but they really, I mean, what a time to find a rhythm. I agree. And of course it's sad for M80 who up and up until this round have had the lead and now have had Liquid tie it up. But this is their map pick and M80's credit. They are playing this out. They are actually trying to go for some attacks. Sure, it's not the craziest things you've ever seen, but they're trying. And in a position like that, I would also be in extremely poor spirits and not really want to play this out. So I got to give respect where it's due. And M80 are putting up at least some decent attacks. Even if they're leaving some openings, we see Gomez moving up the house stairs to try to get some individual play. And a lot of that was an adaptation from Liquid holding firmly on that office and exhibition side with the Azami, stopping the way M80 opened it up previously, which is taking gunfights. Two apiece. And, well, we'll find the rotates on the site still sort of dancing around the second story because it has been That's traded pretty cleanly back and forth. It always seems to be at least the primary of a tertiary option is left. available to them. They did dabble with Kitchen, but I wouldn't really say Attackers it's sort of up there along the second story it. sites to fight. And these two play in similar ways. If you're not, if you're not entirely sure, you sort of will get that clarity and control across the opposite end. You sort of treat it like you would Villa when that was in the pool. First in peace. Yep. Arrivederci. Uh, it's in Italy. I, I couldn't think of another Italian word. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't speak Italian. I mean, I can, you know, it's a romance language. I learned Spanish. I imagine I could read some Italian. It's a romance language and you are so romantic. Yeah, you know me. What John you, W. Romance over What here. did you do for Valentine's Day this year? I wrote my partner a poem.
Oh, that's actually really cute. <laughs> yeah, shut up. I thought you were going to say I was alone casting Rainbow Six Siege. Well, of course I didn't Life. do it. I, I gave it to her before Valentine's Day. Okay. So not on Valentine's Day. I guess I didn't On have Valentine's Day, I was casting is. Rainbow Six Siege. Wait, Valentine's Day was my day off, actually. Roses are red. Violets, Violets are blue. blue. I'm happy to be here casting Siege with you. Oh. <laughs> Attack One minute gone. The breach onto the wall outside the site itself has been cleared, but the problems sort of follow on from this. This is always expected. At this point, it, you know, you can get in and put some destruction underneath. There's electricity on the wall. A lot of teams will actually have one solid, one soft, so they can kind of rebuff it and play against it. The danger is actually being able to get in and move the players away from the samurai armor or the positions that are played powerfully on the back end. As I said, it clears like this, though. They start on the opposite end. They'll try and crack their way across to towards this line first. Move the players out of drum, out of shrine, across back into the site, get the control here because, well, the wall behind them, and you sort of see that runs all the way across, is just as impossible. Iconic finds Palu, and then they find Iconic back pretty quickly. Iconic taking a big bit of control mini bar, but it's kind of like those chess games where you get like, oh, I'm in their back line, I got this great piece. Oh, I just got taken by a bishop because I was on a diagonal. It's like, you immediately get traded. I don't think you play chess right. I, well, that scenario was using someone who made an incorrect move in chess. Okay. They were thinking short when they should have been thinking long. I don't think I played chess right. I don't think any. I don't. I don't play chess right either. But either way, <laughs> now now I made you in a very weird position where they just have to flood in through one singular doorway and hope Gomez makes it work on the other side of the map. Three sets finds one. Not the second. Excellent trade from DS Lucas, who has promoted himself to Finca. As Spoit has instead taken up the Ash. But they're still stuck outside the side at me. Three against two, 30 seconds. They got to see if they can try and just piece a tiny bit of a hole, but Liquid, they're not really handing them anything. As I said, it's so, unfortunately, delicate. It's a lot of corners, checking 90s and popping your way in here. Yoga might not know about the player close to his left with a shotgun, but, well, he's about to. The C4 starts to pop. They have the full awareness on the location, and Volps cuts him in half. The shoeboxy design always makes things very, very tricky when you're in the man disadvantage because well, you're one person, two eyes, four corners. That's too many to check, Carter. Do we have anything that's eight in there? Because you were doubling every number. Eight legs on a spider. <laughs> on, give me five seconds to come up with some spider joke. Reload. <laughs> five, okay, say what's in your head. It does not be good. Drop the diffuser. <laughs> you guys just laugh to yourself. <laughs> I don't have a joke. It's just a funny situation. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just... A funny situation involving a spider? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no spider. Yeah, actually, you know a funny situation? This bomb site has a 100% defensive win rate. I think over, like, four plays. But... <laughs> I was talking to Hap earlier. We're like, every time we talk about this bomb site, we're like, it sucks. It's so bad. It's the worst. 100% oh, defensive win rate. 100%. And then, of course, he was like, whoa, there's, you know. There's... Five seconds left. <laughs> Is that your Hap? Why are you juggling? You guys can't see this at home. God just started waving his arms around. <laughs> there was someone making balloon animals in the hotel earlier. Dude, I saw that. I was, I was blown away. I wanted one. I think they worked for the hotel and they were just making balloon animals. I, also, there's, a, there's one of the elevators in the hotel. I'm obviously on the docks first. One of the elevators in the hotel bounces and it terrifies <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, that's real identifying info. There's a slightly wobbly elevator. They don't have that anywhere else. <laughs> also, also, I'm laughing, I'm laughing too hard. What's the voice that's like... That's oh, Goofy was the voice I was doing. I started doing Ooh. I started doing it happen. I just was like, this just sounds like Goofy. <laughs> Rainbow Six. Well, I know the tiebreaker rules. <laughs> Who wants to see the mini league? Gorsh. Liquid. Three to two up. Maybe we're the clowns making the balloon animals. Maybe. M80. They've been able to get two of their attacks there. They get three and they're actually sitting pretty to take this pretty far. Again, they're playing for sort of Bleed and Virtus Pro at this point to try and put as much damage dealt into the points of Liquid. They could remove three points if they play this very, very well. They could at least remove one. And I think the other team would be pretty happy about it because, hey, it will still have a seeding match. The implications are always there for the Bleed Virtus Pro showdown later on. However, if they can sort of lock out Liquid here and, and keep them only on one point and win the eventual showdown, M80 will become the best friends of Bleed and VP.
Yes, indeed. If they can just keep Liquid at the bottom and bl bleed VP, W7 him, obviously, but if those three get in the upper bracket, they'll be more than happy with that. Because even though Liquid might not be as strong as they used to be, especially missing the Atlanta Major, do you really want to have to face a best of three with Nesk and Palu? No, you particularly don't. Lagonis even as well, able to find Gomez and make things a 4v4. And maybe trying to take control of the office exhibition, not bomb site, just bit of the map. But they're facing so many problems. Palu, Ness, the two players I talked about, they're holding on to this position as long as they possibly can because it controls all of the vertical to the bomb site beneath it. Yeah, Palu played you, and now he's just going to try and hold on. Diaz Lucas jiggle peeking doorways and does find a take Attackers alongside Iconic on the bank, but it is 40 seconds, a three versus two, and they just have gotten some control of the verticality. They are missing the hard breach to be able to get the hatch open, so it's gonna have to be stairs and rotate to see if they can try and cause some destruction and devastation on the back line. I mean, at this point, you're sort of fishing for players. Liquid, they quite enjoy playing this sort of moment, this sort of hold. They're very well documented as being, I think, trained and cautious. Oh! oh that's my fantasy team! That's your fantasy team. Let's go! Vamos! <laughs> Why did you say that so uncomfortably? Vamos! I, I don't think I said it uncomfortably. I, are you making fun of the way I speak? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. Fair play. Chow busted. Chow busted, my good friend. Was this what it was like when you cast a power? Because obviously we're doing a lot of juggling. I wasn't at Atlanta. I couldn't read this. Uh, I didn't cast a Parker at Atlanta. No, um, here. Here. Oh, here. What game do we cast? No, we actually, that game, that game actually, well, you know, meant something. Stop kicking my mic cable. Did he bully you? No, I mean, I, if he did, I think it, I like memory hold it for traumatic <laughs> reasons. It is your father. Um, yeah, like, exactly. So exactly, to, to the point I just made. But I think we generally, it was pretty, it was pretty serious. It was a Bliss versus SSG and it ended up being 7-5 first map, 8-6 the second map. Yeah, yeah, that was a heat. Bliss also making it in over deep plus Kia. Shout out to the Aussies. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. And boy, oh boy. I wonder how this defensive half is going to go for M80 because we've had, of course, the defender side. Let's turn our mask. Oh, mama, it's been a lot of defensive wins. But. <laughs> I, I am so sad the photographers aren't in here to capture the madness that is ensuing in. But. This room. The point I the point I was making was I'm I'm interested to see if if this ends up being <laughs> again a defender sided game and M80 might end up taking this in regulation and putting it to a map three or if Liquid have a solid attacking side because we might have two maps that again don't really matter for, at all for M80 but are very important to Liquid depending on if they you know enjoy having an extra life in this tournament so we'll see how M80's defense is fair and if Liquid have to really fight for this extra seating. M80. Now they are very good on their defense statistically at the tournament, even though technically everybody has been better. It's really where they've shined. And they've gotten themselves very deep in a lot of these games in a group that was cited at the very start as being that group of death. Diaz Lucas, the first to get the scrape from underneath, wants to double dip for the danger. And oh, Ness! His toesies were almost in a no-nosies there. They got shot on the back, the break of the barbed wire, and the push up towards the top. Volts with the cover of the blinds, and they're just taking the territory. Are they going to actually move all the way into the site? They slink past the bees, but they haven't been rewarded with a body. And that's sort of that moment where they go, oh, okay, well, we need a little bit more support. Volts has to pull back after that utility dump because there was nothing for him to take, and he was entirely alone. Normally, we see the conversion into karaoke to try to go for a plant, but Lagonis falls back. They aren't able to fully get that pressure, even though there's nobody from M80 actually on back stairs. There's still a whole lot of guns trained on that position, and just walking in, if you're not a Montane, is a very difficult feat. It's a lot of the time, that very reason is why we see a Monty brought if the attack is trying to go for an execute inside a karaoke from black stairs. You can shield yourself from all those guns, and Liquid do not have that same privilege. So a bit of a rotation. Now instead, moving over to Office and Exhibition with only a minute left in the round. Very late rotation. Very late in the round, Emmy. 
I think that's the thing about Skyscraper is the rotates can take out pretty much all of your time, really. There's not many routes over the top as you have in a lot of maps. There's not many routes underneath you without having to do the clearance. You're pointing at the screen. Well, yeah, because then you got to walk through and a zombie sitting in a drum holding the one doorway you can run through. Yeah, it, it's not comfortable for anyone. Spoit hops up round to the side and Gomez hops Palu back down. They're still just trying to push behind Candela's and... Well, that's not going to work, is it? Diaz, Lucas, and Yoga get one apiece. They finally flood in close to the bomb site. But the fact that they got towards the top of Black about a minute ago. Nice, Lagonis. Swings around either side for the double, but he's got 10 seconds to find three players. Probably not going to happen when they've rotated underneath as well. Spraying, fighting, fighting, and unfortunately, fleeing from the round. Point being, the first push almost fell half cocked you sort of say i'm in sight with the candelas and the rest of them go well we're not <laughs> <laughs> yeah and as i said earlier that's often why we see the monty brought there even if you have a ying on the board which i think can be very useful you the monty allows himself to both walk all the way up to top black into the karaoke rotate but then just sit there if he wants making sure not to expose himself to any of the angles inside of T, but he can hold that bit of control. But if you don't have that, once the Candela's run out and the attackers, re or the defenders, excuse me, regain their vision, they can start firing shots your way. They can start setting up crossfires. So without any work done on the Shrine side, particularly, because that's the main spot that you could maybe fight those T players and shoot them in the back, without that, you're just hoping you can either outgun them or you don't really have a chance. Just a, a person with a dream. A horse with a dream. Because look at right. the horse. It's the logo. That is a horse. Like the horse with the logo. Didn't know it was a horse for long. There was someone who didn't know. Just to be so. Wait, hold on. You're saying somebody looked at that logo. Yep. At the top of the number four. I'm not just saying somebody they, looked at that logo. I'm saying a talent member. Somebody I know. A professional. A professional cat. I don't know Rainbow if they. Stick. I don't know if they were. They weren't at this tournament. Or it might have been someone. It happened at a different user. tournament. But I, I have a very user. vivid memory. They didn't recognize that was a horse. What did they think it was? I can't remember. But they didn't understand how negative space works. I guess. I know what negative space is. Yeah, well, you know it's a horse. A negative space? Do you know what negative space is? It's a uh, space that's not filled by something. No, anyone that you are in four to three liquid, they might lose their <laughs> leading moment here. Carter is decimated. Once again, I have depressed the boy. Uh, M80, there's that play against the shield that he sort of asked for. Nesk on the back of it. Suddenly the pistol doesn't quite have the ER effect, but so does Parlu. Four versus two. Gomez and Yoga. All that's left in the blink of an eye. The rush has come to a very powerful conclusion of a liquid take that we've not really had much of throughout this tournament at all. It was so fast and succinct. Usually they've sort of been habitually not slow, but cautious, I think is the fairest way of putting it. Solid at points, but here, with the play against the impact, with the plant already in progress, that will not stop it. The two remaining M80 players try to buy some space back in. One goes down, and in a post plant, in a one versus four, and it's in the middle of the room. This is, I'm going to say, a bit beyond tricky. Yoga, he's got a close swing on his right hand side against the half hearted reset. And now he's just damaged himself. Vamos liquid. You know the ironic thing is, yep. when you made the negative space joke, before you made the joke about me, I was going to make a joke about how I was be like, ah, the green room's a negative space. Because all I get is made fun of. Yeah. Then I was like, I don't want to do that, because my best good buds are in there. And then I, I toss it to you. And you know what happens? I didn't toss it to you. I threw the ball right in the air, and you knocked me out of the park. <laughs> what happened to shame? What happened to shame, Emmy? Huh? Is this that t-shirt Parker wears? No, that just is shame. No. I thought you were just being very attentive to your best bud's clothing. No, no, I wasn't. No, I was being, I I was being attentive to my best bro. My t it's a white t-shirt. Yeah, can I write the word shame on it? Oh, I thought you were going to say you were going to shame it. No, I'm not going to shame it. It's a very generic t-shirt. What the? Winner. What did that say? What did that say? I, I was looking at you. I wasn't looking at the screen. The screen? I looked back and I thought... They, cut, they cut to the desktop by accident. Oh. As happens sometimes. Ten seconds to go. And so, I mean, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep go. it, 
I'm gonna keep it 100% with you. 100%. I want to see more rushes like that. Are heading out oh, I do. 100 I do. Then. Because it's been a really slow game. I get it. I get it. Skyscraper. I get it. It's a slow map. Let's have some fun here. We've been playing. We've been ha we've been sharing a lot of rounds. We've been we throwing have. a lot of shots back and forth. A lot of uh, jokes potentially at I don't know short male R6 caster's expenses. Let's see some more bullets in tomorrow play. Let's see some let's see some candelas that aren't just clearing a small amount of space and then backing up. Let's see some good rounds. Five to three. Amazing. As I said, they're not playing for themselves at this moment in time. They're playing for as long as they're playing for. And then at that point, their season series at SI 2024 is done. However, they're also, as I said, playing against a team that does have some hurdles in front of them. Some things to hop, skip, and jump over and through. And that is the five players of the M80 defense. Still locked in, set up, and ready to rock and roll. Diaz. Well, I'm assuming that is gone <laughs> on uh, their side, not on ours. An official bug there, Whee! so he's happy to. Whee! It's the new operator, but it's the, the doc buff. <laughs> that, that's the doc buff? He's a ghost. He, the doc oh buff is transubstantiation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Palu wants to try and powerfully pop around the corner. Nask, he's under a bit of pressure here as well. Spoit is stacked up on a close corner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't think that. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna make the, the socials. He just keeps running. I don't, I don't think that's gonna make the socials. Nah. He can see right through it and the player itself. My day is ruined because of that. I was imagine, so imagine if he walks up and just hits it. Oh, there's a fight right on the doorway. They didn't know about Ness, but they do get the catch on the opposite end. Can't see through that though. That smoke is locked in. A three versus two. They still have a fair little bit of utility. Now they have a little bit less though. And to be fair, he was the only one with anything left. Volt tears through them. Pepper and pop with the secondary SMG. Trying to get the cover of the plant itself. Do they know where Yoga is? He's been able to clutch out some big plays earlier on. He finds the first engagement, but it goes against him. Liquid, they sit on series point and you know what there might not have been a blitz or an amaru but i still appreciate that round sure two kills has come from nesk sitting outside the office balcony but he's still capitalizing off a very aggressive m80 play we get see some flashy action i appreciate that then all of a sudden we cut to the overhead new shot and then after these plays of course it's gone in the replay that's well, well, because the replays are probably from Nesk's POV, be my guess. Oh, I, it's not on I, don't know, I don't know how things work. Well, listen, you might not know. I am, you know, I, as a very professional, I forgot your as a professional career. content creator, uh, I am very oh. familiar with uh, the potential visual glitches that can happen from the observer POV how versus many, the player POVs. How many subscribers you got? Uh, I haven't posted in a couple months, but I have, I think, 23,000 followers. It's not very good, is it? How many do you have? I was, I was getting, regardless of what number you said. I know. I was going to say that's not very good, is it? Because, 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 yeah, you know, I don't care. I don't need to, I don't need to prove bomb. myself to you. What was your point okay? making? I, I'm my own man. I can do what I want. What, what do you mean what the point I was making? I don't know. Well, the point yeah, I was going to make early, the point I talked about earlier was I was curious if we were going to see a very defender-sided game. Then M80 left. might act, end up pushing us to a map three. But no, instead Liquid with two, one, well, one quick bomb. round, and then one round that saw a lot of Liquid set up, and then a very quick execution into the site. Likely Volps weaving his way through a gap left by the defense. We saw a very explosive and exciting round, though not a quick one. That's a point I did just make. I loved listening to it. What did I say? I don't know, something about TikTok, I don't know. That's ah, actually pretty much right. Volps, half <laughs> health. Swings his way a little bit closer towards the fight potentially with Yogger and in fact no it's Nesk that's come to try to offer the sort of back against it VIP and the house stairs gets opened up and Yogger just slips away but sort of pre-fires and the hope and the gambit that you get a little bit lucky on the back end of the hard breach popping off you always have a second to sort of score behind the chaos of the smoke now with the swing in they have three opportunities here to lock this out on their attack, lock out the series and get themselves ready to sort of sit pretty and watch the game later on and maybe hope for the best. And, well, there is the worst. Gomez is gone. Resets gets the opener. 
And also, if uh, they do get this 7-3 victory, this will be a nice little buff for the round differential, of course, winning the series 2-0, but a 7-4 followed up by a 7-3. This will be a very good victory, of course, specifically for the points and the tiebreakers that they are fighting for to try and make it all the way up as far as they can inside of Group C to save themselves from a lower bracket run on their final line. Dokubi call going out. Not sure. Volps actually has, I was about to say, I think he only has one more left of the two, and indeed he does. Falls off the drone, the candela is flying Whoa. through, but we saw Liquid get stuck very, very hard at this door. Two drum and two shrine, and now that the reinforcements have come out, M80 are going to make their job even harder. Oh, never mind, they're just inside the bomb the bomb. <laughs> they're inside! Now, at least one of them the isn't. They've tried to sneak their way in, but the verticality is still dangerous. Oh. Iconic! Living up to his namesake and the getting to drop. They have this as well. Power play on the verticality. Solace works up and down. And well, now one more player is down. Can he find it in time? It's just a dead body giving the game away. It's a post plant. That's a little bit of an oh no. And they've snuck in and Volps gets dropped down. They could try and get the pickup. Not if the run out comes from here. Spoit will swing. And he knows he might be being watched. He's going to look for the end of the player. There it is. There's the defuse attempt. The first just ping cool. goes halfway through. Iconic's holding on. He can't get the angle. Oh, Polly oh, just finds it. The sliver of the side there resets all that's left to stop this defuse attempt. There's only a little bit of time. He's going to go for the fight. The drop onto the first. They pulled off for the second, but they just like, makes yeah. it happen. No! No! Oh, oh he oh, got no. it. <laughs> oh, that was almost very bad. No, 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 says the observer. There is a, there is an order that interactions happen and picking up a player is the highest priority. <laughs> it would, that would have been. It would have that been. That would have been very after. I'm glad you can say it. Can you, drop the bomb. Can you, can you imagine? Can you imagine? The they clutch defuse. that round, they stop the defuse, and then they go out because Yaka accidentally started picking up Spoit on the ground. Oh, look at it. <laughs> the slow-mo. No! 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 Let me die! <laughs> they stave off death one more time. Six to four. Now they have two more rounds to get themselves into OT. And it has been a bit back and forth. Obviously, it was a four to half on the opposite end with three of those rounds from Liquid being sort of threaded in a row. They still have that momentum, that gap and that distance to put as we head over towards karaoke. I don't think I've told you. I like your shoes. Thank you. Nice little, little baby remaining. blue. Yeah, they're very comfortable. My baby blue. Beautiful. Is that the karaoke song you sing? No, it's the uh, ending to Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, you could sing that. You could go up to the karaoke, look through the book. Come on. No. Almost. You could see he was like, ah, oh, as well. He was like, ah. Oh, oh, if only Carter was singing right now. I wanted to kill that guy. If only I had a soundtrack. I really wanted to kill him. I would have hit that shot. Resets. That's the difference. All the teams, you think they're listening to White Noise. It's actually just Carter. Played. Actually, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I actually forgot that you could repel him there. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't see anybody do it. it. Thank you for not lying. The C4 out the window goes fishing, doesn't catch anybody. Iconic does find one and no! Almost got the cheeky double there inside the site and they get locked down pretty quickly. Nest. Watching everybody die around him, like the opening of Saving Private Ryan, but at this point, with all the explosions too, he doesn't quite have the benefit of the slow-mo and the super cinematics of Spielberg. Next! Heavily injured at this point, we get a break and a little bit of second in the action with still, again, a lot of utility. That's the other side of the rush at this point, but how do you piece things together from here when you've already sort of played your hand? Well, Gomez, he's gonna rotate around and try and open up the back. Stuffers from the back end. Yoga and Palu find one apiece. It's a two versus three with Palu eking his way into the site and Volks in control of top black. Going for the plant. The cover from Diaz Lucas gets one. Palu, a one versus nobody. Well, a nobody versus three. He was the one. A naught versus three. It's a naught versus three. <laughs> Everybody this tournament has been making fun of Harry Chalk because they sound so common. I didn't make fun of you. How dare you. I didn't make fun of you. What? What, <laughs> what did I do? Do you know what you would voice very well? What? Like either 
An, anima oh, an animated character. Yeah, you compared me to Gilbert Gottfried a few times. <laughs> I have compared you. <laughs> I did compare you to Gilbert Oh Gottfried. my god, Spoy going for the peak. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Six five. I have also, I think you would do um, a Muppet very well. Like, like. Oh, do you think so? Find Kermit. Hi. Hi, everybody. Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog here. I'm Kermit the Frog. Oh, boy. Y'all get 13 kills. 6 to 5. I hope they win. That was another good rush for. I, I swear. It's like they actually heard my call, and they're like, we are just going to start rushing every round. Because <laughs> apparently. We see, the, we see the Amaru fly into. The little karaoke window. Yes, the karaoke yeah, window. We also see Nest hop into Geisha. But again, the downside of rush is if you don't win those first Five initial engagements left. or have the proper countermeasures set up, you're very susceptible to a couple frag heavy players, or I suppose uh, fraggingly, uh, fraggingly inclined players. Yeah. You know? Gunners. Fragadocious. Frag buggylicious. I think Fergalicious play. I think, I think Volps is Fergalicious. Yoga gets it down. <laughs> nice shot comes out in chat as two bodies hit the further floor. One of them has hit the temporary floor. It's Volps. They should be able to get them up. Lagonis is watching the cover to make sure nobody swings out. Liquid. They know how close they are. The C4 a little bit too wide, a little bit too late. To truly have the impact that it wants. A five versus three. Liquid are in the best position possible to close this out, but they still have to close it out they have been their worst enemy on some of these attacks before where they've had themselves in a five versus three position and then things have got a little bit awry the pressure got a little bit too high and there is a huge huge amount of experience in this lobby on that team oh filthy from iconic a hell of a twirl and a spin dropping volps and knocking him back out of the board it's the first they're a little bit closer to having an even hand Yes, indeed. Gomez falls back down into the site as well. Maybe trying to channel some of that action Iconic has brought to the party. Got a couple quick peeks, a few shots, and a kill to make it a 3v3. Nesk outside of the bathroom window. Can also try to do that in turn. Really no top floor pressure at the moment from Liquid. All really trying to take gunfights with the M80 players, but the flashbangs go in. Are we just going to have Nesk vault in another window and try and go for kills? Who knows? Now, obviously, there's a player disconnected on the M80 side here, but they're already one of the ones that have died. So at this point, it's just one of those player on cams. Palu does get spoiled with the swing and the take on the single player. There's a bit of a brawl back and forth. They try and bite through, but there it is. Liquid get themselves the 2-0, the four points, and the little penciled in second place in the group. Key modifier there, penciled in, of course, because things could change depending on the results of Virtus Pro Bleed, who they're tied with by the end of the day, how that tiebreaker even shakes out. But what we can say for the moment, as you said, they have jumped all the way up to just beneath W7M in their group and also created a nice little nest egg round differential. Of course, because they didn't win 7-3, they won 7-5, but still gained some bonuses on the rounds, gained the head-to-head -head over M80, a lot of different things that they just won, but most importantly are now almost almost at the position to crawl out of that lower bracket spot they would have been seated to had they lost this game well if they lost this game they would have gone home but you know point being point being but for everything that was put forward here that is the end of the road for m80 from this point onwards their si experience is going to be watching the teams that progress. Liquid have done everything they could today and had some of the best play that they have done a full stop. However, we know what they're capable of, they know what they're capable of, and they know that their position isn't locked in yet, so they will be keenly aware of whoever they find in the following games. And also, just that Virtus Pro Bleed game. Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? Who do they need to fear, of course? But also, how that result impacts them. But that, that that's for people who are smarter than Emmy and I. Let's throw it to the Eggheads and my good best buddy, Manic, on the desk to break it all down. There's the heart. I drew car. He's very small. <laughs> uh, well, fair enough. We do have some Eggheads here, but I can't believe you called Lagonis an Egghead. That's not very nice, <laughs> Carter. Lagonis... Congratulations on the win. I don't want to talk too much about map two, but I want to talk about map one specifically. Obviously, you know that once you win that map, it's all over. What's going on inside the head? 
also before uh, after we winning the, like the first the first map, like we need to keep like our focus. But in first map, we know the fellow of of that map for them at least. Uh, but yeah, it was a great battle. We do like struggle a little bit on attacks. We did it too, but it was okay. And on defense, like we were so like focused and doing all together. So it was very nice. Just talking on that map one, obviously, that's kind of the map we want to focus on here because that was where everything really mattered. Um, we saw players like Nesk just come alive, you know. He's had his moments, obviously, throughout his career. What's it like now with him, you know, performing? Because in map one, it, it looked like the old Nesk, right? Yeah, no, Nesk was insane. Like, every round, probably, he got, like, three kills in every round. Yeah. I think he probably got uh, around 17 kills in total. And we call him Blue in Brazil, like it's Gerator probably in English, the cow on, on church bomb site. He like kill everyone, everyone there. So it was very nice. I was screaming to them like, you, you did it so well. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very happy for, for him and for the team. Something that we sort of spoke about a little bit on the desk was that you've actually got a lot of plants. Yep. You're yep. one of the highest planters inside of the whole tournament at the moment. And one of the problems that we kind of identified was maybe struggling out on the roam clear. That was something that you actually did quite well on Clubhouse. Is that something you've really been working on so that you've got that good roam clear at the start of the round and then can still get the execute down on the attacks? Yeah, like, I, I agree a little bit. Like, uh, I don't think like we are struggling that much on roam clear, uh, more in the execution. Like. A lot of times we have 4v2s or 5v3s and we are losing. So I still got some plants, but it's not good enough in the execution. I think in the uh, when we got the lurkers, like it's okay, but execution is the problem for, for now. And we are talking a lot about this in every day. So I hope that today uh, was a little bit better. Yep. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, we, I could sit here all day and talk no, about no, this. No, 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 like, that's fine. fine. I just, I want to make sure that you've got your questions out. <laughs> I've got that's good for questions out, I'm good, yeah. No, no, all right, cool. Look, I just, uh, look, I've got to ask you, obviously, now that you're headed into playoffs, we've seen you in a couple of best of threes now. How's the confidence building? Yeah, I think, like, now we've got a lot of confidence. Like, we got a little bit disappointed because we, we lose against Bleed. Like, we were so close to, to, to finish that Oregon and we got that comeback. So, yeah, we struggled a little bit, but in my opinion, if if you have a tough group stage, you get more mental to the playoffs. So that's my mentality yeah. and what I try to bring to the boys too. So yeah, we are much more confident right now and let's see what we can do. Yeah, so one big question I yep. have, we asked okay. Barlow, I'm gonna ask you as well, what would it mean for you to play in front of the Brazilian crowd? <laughs> well, for me, it would mean probably everything. Like it's the, for us, like people that live in Brazil are Brazilians, uh, like playing in the, in the crowd probably is a dream, like, for everyone and probably is the most uh, the moment that we have most joy on the siege for yeah. me like if we qualify for the arena it's probably the best tournament that we can feel like because it's different like i played last year the brazilian finals and we have the, a little bit of the liquid crowd was amazing and we know that liquid crowd is the biggest one in Brazil, <laughs> so it would be insane. So I hope that we can we can get there. Laganas, I think everyone is hoping that you make it to the main <laughs> stage. It would be incredible. Would you like to say anything to the viewers at home before we let you go? Yeah, for everyone that was cheering for us, thanks so much. Like we struggle a little bit in the group stage, uh, but as I said to, to the boys here, like if we struggle, like we get more uh, with mental strength. So yeah, looking forward to, to the playoffs. Thanks a lot, guys. Congratulations and we'll see you in the playoffs. See you guys. All right, moving forward. That is Liquid through. They're currently second place. Now, it can't stay that way. It's not physically possible, but they're in second place, which looks good for a second. But M80, near airport. Ciao, ciao. Yeah, unfortunate for M80 there, they are going to bow out of the competition here inside of the groups. So we had to say goodbye to one team, and that is going to be the team out of Group C. Focusing on Liquid, though, and that performance that they had today, what a day for Ness to come online. What a day for re uh, resets as well. we got Vault there. A lot of players hitting above that 100 EPS mark where we are expecting these players to perform. They also did pretty handily on that entry. We highlighted Vault in the pre-show. He ended up plus four. A alongside of Ness. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, we saw Team Liquid battling it out. There were a couple of, like, rocky rounds here and there coming through from Team Liquid. Um, rounds where M80 were battling back. But I think it's fair to say that Liquid were in control the majority of the second game, as we'd expect them to be, um, given the, the stakes of this game. So, yeah, impressive stuff all around. I am happy to see Ness continuing to frag out. I think he has been their best player uh, consistently throughout this tournament. So uh, it's nice to see a little bit of old Ness coming through. It's uh, always good to see him at SI. And I'm excited for Liquid. You know, they have locked down that upper bracket. 
Racket, which gives them a really good opportunity now to actually push forward and make a deep run through SI. Because if you start the lower bracket, it's very difficult to make your way all the way to the main stage where you're playing in front of a big crowd. Liquid now have a very solid chance of being in that position. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you touched there on the chance that they've got now with them being potentially inside of that upper bracket. You actually threw a fun stat at me earlier that we uh -huh. haven't had an upper bracket winner that actually goes to the end of SI for quite a while now, though. Yeah, we haven't had a team finish first in their group and win the Six Invitational before. Wow. We've had... Liquid, Liquid could be second, so like, it's guaranteed yeah, yeah, at this point. Yeah, I mean, second. <laughs> the, the last couple of, uh, the last couple of uh, SIs with this format, I yeah. should add that as a caveat, that's important. Um, with the current format, there has never been a team to finish first in their group and make it all the way and win the Grand Finals. There's also never been a team to start in the lower bracket and make it all the way. All the winners with this format have finished either second or third. Wow. Yeah. That's a very cool stat. There you go. You're the stat man, aren't you? That's kind of what I do. Skitty bit of bop, 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 Now, look, the, the conversation for Liquid, it, it is a question I want to ask you, Ollie. You've obviously seen a fair bit of Liquid, and especially over this past week. How confident are you going into playoffs with this roster? Do you feel like they've developed enough across this week to head in with potentially a favorite mentality? I think they've got that opportunity now, right? They've got a day off. They can hit that reset. They can chill out, watch the game that's going to be going on later here on this stream and just see where it takes them. We know that they're a team that, you know, can get inside their own heads a little bit at times. Sure. And they've been on the biggest stages. They've been in an SI grand final and they haven't been able to convert it, albeit different roster, but a very similar core. You're mainly looking at Nesk. You're mainly looking at Palu. So for me, I think that with the added pressure of that Brazilian crowd, we've already called Liquid the sort of hometown swing Sweethearts, they are the sweethearts of Brazil. They are the team that everyone gets behind. You can see there, Lagonis, he was excited to get himself in and amongst that. Yeah, and coming through with the standings now, of course, yet to be played. M80 taking on Virtus Pro, sorry, Bleed taking on Virtus Pro next. Yes. M80 will be going home. Um, for those two teams, this now becomes a battle of who makes it into that upper bracket versus who will be starting down in the lower bracket. And I mean, those are two very tough teams to be going up yeah. against. This is critical. I, I do feel this is a critical game because the last thing you want to be doing as either Virtus Pro or Bleed is having a group the way that you have and then going straight into the lower bracket to kickstart playoffs. That would be pretty devastating. Yeah, I mean, there's so much that we could go into and we will end up digging into about this game. Um, but you look at where Liquid have positioned themselves right now. Mm -hmm. That round differential is going to start to maybe look a little bit important, depending off this next game's a 3-2-1 a or a 2-0. Then you're going to start to look at rounds. Then we maybe sort of criticize that skyscraper a little bit more heavily and go, ah, you know, maybe Liquid could have got the job done a little bit sooner on that. Yeah, maybe. Mate. Who knows? Well, it would have been nice to. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, one person that we were talking about at the very start of the day was actually Gomez. We were talking about it in the green room. He yep. uh, obviously had some pretty decent stats coming in for M80, and he is our Intel play of the game. Cheeky little 4K, in fact. Uh, back on club, if you can throw your mind back there, <laughs> Jesse. Yeah, this round uh, is the basement defense coming through uh, from, M from M80. Managed to get a couple of kills there, lock it down. Very important back then. That's when we still didn't know that was going to be a 3-3 split, 4-2. Yeah. Uh, it's been nice to see Gomez have a really strong tournament. He's had some weaker events. I think start of the year, Gomez was not really a player that we talked about as having uh, fantastic performances on M80. But for him to come through now, I think the second half of the year was really strong for Gomez here at SI. He proved himself to be one of the top teams on the or top players on the team alongside Spoit. So I'm very happy to see that from him. Yep. I guess we had to give M80 something, right? Nesk died for that. Like, Nesk played lights out on Clubhouse. I'm very surprised that he didn't get it, but I suppose kudos to uh, kudos to Gomez. Absolutely. Absolutely kudos. It's time for us to move on. It's time for us to have a look at the final match of the day on both streams, of course. Actually, technically, we're still in a game right now. Scars and Falcons go head to head. That is also an elimination match. We have had four elimination matches today. That is the final one that is going to be played. I actually think that's really cool. We had we literally had four head-to-heads. Whoever won, stayed on. So that's a cool little fact for you. Uh, so Falcons, uh, just to give a little bit of context, they went 7-5 in the first map. I'm not sure how they're doing now. Uh, unfortunately, my eyes were firmly on this one. Uh, but the final game of the day. This one, uh, not just the day, sorry, but the entire All the groups. groups. All the groups, yeah. God, it's gone, it's gone so fast. It's blown by. It's blown by. Yeah. So quickly. Yeah, way too quickly. But speaking on that, Bleed, VP, which way you win? Oof. I mean, I, I don't really know. I, I don't know what to expect from this bleed roster anymore. Like they have come out and they've surprised time and time again. I can't wait to get into it. Well, speaking of getting into it, Jesse, I think it might be time 
Let's uh, go to a very short break. On the other side, it is the final matchup for the A-Stream here. Oh, I can't wait for it. We'll be back after this.